Welcome to No Fugazi Podcast. I'm your host, Cooley, and we got a special episode tonight. Uh, we got my man, Hustleman, a rapper. Homie flew all the way out from Miami. Yeah. You know what I mean? To be on a podcast with your boy. Um, and we got one, two, three, four, five lovely ladies on the panel today. We're going to talk dating and relationships. Um, thank you, everyone, who keeps supporting Clips is going viral, but I need y'all to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also click that notification bell. So uh, let's get into it. Um, I'm just going to introduce ourselves. Let's start here with your name, age, and where you're from. My name is Erica. I'm 26, and I'm from Philly. Philly. Okay. You drove all the way out here yeah. from Philly. Word. Okay, that's what's up. Um, relationship status. Mm. Mm. Uh, we could say in a relationship for now. Okay, in a relationship for now. Yeah. You was you was a little hesitant. Let me fix you up a little bit. Be careful. Wash your hands He could wash. <laughs> so uh, you was a little hesitant. Is it complicated? What's up with that? No. Yeah. A little I mean, complicated. Yeah. How long y'all been vibing for? Five years. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Yeah. So somewhere he is a little uh, inadequate in ways where you really don't want to claim him, but y'all got history together and you're like, you kind of got one foot out the door, kind of looking for an option. But if another option don't work out, you come right back home. No, I don't. No, there's, there's I no, hit it on the nail. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. All right. Uh, what do you do for a living? Custom sneakers. Word. Mm -hmm. You did those? Mm-hmm. Can we zoom in? The, we can't Go put ahead. the camera up. Throw, put your feet up. We can't. Yeah. Oh, Show how them. I do this? Other stuff. way. <laughs> they got the. You can't see it. You can't they got. She got the Dior's on them. The Dior. The Dior's with the thick yeah, laces with, with the with Air Force <laughs> Ones. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, I think we good. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, on your head. Yeah. Oh, you be alright. But sorry. <laughs> um, and you, uh, name, age, and where you're from. <laughs> I'm Katie, 30, and I'm from Massachusetts. Katie, 30, Massachusetts. That's what's up. And you drove all the way out here, right? Yeah. How long was the drive? A little over three hours. Oh, it's not bad. I well, I feel care. like Massachusetts is like six thinking, hours from you're here. You're thinking of Boston. That's why, and I don't live near Boston. Oh, okay. I live on the part of the state right next to Connecticut. Like, if you were Got going it. to get to New York, so it's not that far. So it's not that far. Oh, all right. Well, I all right, guess cool. it's a little far, but it's not like if you're coming from Boston, which would have taken me like five like five. Okay. Makes sense. And um, what, do you, what do you do for a living? I'm a paramedic and I'm in nursing school. And in nursing school. Okay. You're going to be a nurse. What type of nurse? Um, since I'm a paramedic now, probably like ER, ICU, because I've done emergency services for like seven years now. Okay. Well, when you get your RN, come talk to me. You uh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I work with nurses for a living. Oh, okay. I'm a medical agent. Oh, cool. Um, relationship status. I'm not done with you yet. Um, I'm single. Okay. Well, I guess maybe complicated. I don't know. <laughs> single, maybe so. You got a nigga that you're talking to, but you still single. Yeah. He's not claiming you. No. Question, do you want to be claimed by him? Yeah, it's been like six months, but I don't know. It's not like I've nothing's really evolved from it, I guess. Okay, okay. Um, but you do want to be claimed. That's a good thing. So you are looking for it. Um and uh, how you said it's been six months, though, right? It's been about six months that we've been hanging out, yeah. Got it. What about you? Name, age, and where you're from? Um, <clears throat> I'm Thali, 24, and I'm from Allentown. Thali? Mm -hmm. Thali. And um, Allentown, uh, 24. What do you do for a living? I drive for AutoZone. Oh, you drive for AutoZone? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Which, like AutoZone, what type of driving do you do for AutoZone? Um, it's called a hub driver. So we drive, like we drop off parts to another one. I could go to Jersey, anywhere. They okay. Drive Yo, uh, Light, is she loud enough? She kind of good? I have a small voice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn her up real quick. Am I loud enough? That should be a little louder. Is it good? Yeah. Shorty was whispering. 
<laughs> Dang. Uh, all right, so start all over. Thalia, how uh, old? Thali. Thali. Mm-hmm. 24. 24 Allentown. Allentown. AutoZone. Relationship status. Single. Single. Confident about it. So no niggas in your horizon. Mm-mm. One of these niggas about to pick you up afterwards, so you ain't going to be single for long. Mm-mm. We got a group of niggas back here. Uh, <laughs> name, age, where you from? Layla, 25, Allentown. Layla, 25, Allentown. What you do for a living? A financial clerk at a rehabilitation center. Okay, word. That's what's up. Relationship status. It's complicated. Complicated. Okay. <laughs> so we got one complicated. Two. She, she chilling. You single. All right. Cool, cool. That's what's up. <laughs> um, and yourself. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Faith. I'm from Cali. I'm 20 years old. I see you in a relationship right here with Hustle Man. So, um, how long y'all been in a relationship for? Um, about eight months. Oh, word, eight months. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, what do you what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a nail tech. I've been doing that since I was 14. Nail tech. Okay, that's what's up. And uh, our special guest, Hustle Man, a rapper. Yo, can you introduce yourself? Let the fans know. Uh, what you got going on, any new music, any new ventures, any stuff like that. And you can look at that camera right there. I, yeah, I got some new music dropping next month on the on the 15th. On the 13th, word, no, word. No, any the 15th. 15th. Yeah. Any features on that? Um, I, I got or, a few. I got don't want to name them, though. Okay, okay. It's yeah. a surprise. All right, all right. That's what's up, bro. Um, And uh, uh, what you do for a living besides music? I do real estate and I do e-commerce. Real estate and e-commerce. That's yeah. what's up, man. That's what's up. So we're going to get into the first question on a panel. We're going to have it, make it fun. Starting with, we started with you. So we're not going to start with yeah, you again. don't start with me again. We're going to start with you. We're going to start with... Thali. Thali. It's with the T-H? T-A-L-Y. Thali. Mm-hmm. Okay. I said it right? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> name three countries and you can't name... America, you can't name United States, you can't name Canada, and you can't name Mexico. Three countries. So we're going to go around the panel. Three That's countries, crazy. and then when she goes, whoever goes, you can't name the same countries that they, that they name. So it got to be three different countries. This is supposed to be fun. Yeah, it's fun. Come on. Yeah, what? It's not fun. I thought we were talking about I, 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 failed. We got, I, failed. I got you. Geography. I got you. Three countries. Uh-uh. 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 Hey, at least you're going first. You talking about so first? I can't even name uh, one. Home, please. I'll help you out. Where do you want to go on vacation to? Perfect. See? Perfect. Let's talk about it. I want to go to. I want to go to Bora Bora. Bora Bora is that a country? <laughs> Dang, you country. don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that ain't no country. <laughs> uh, where else you want to go? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Think about all the Asians. Just name some of those. <laughs> Asia is a continent. Name all those countries over in Asia. Try to help you out. Well, you asked me where I wanted to go. I didn't want to go to no, like China or something. Okay, China. Oh, I want <laughs> Name another one. <laughs> um, Japan. Japan, okay. All right. <laughs> one more. The Tokyo one. <laughs> nope, nigga, Tokyo is city. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Japan. Yeah. Tokyo is in Japan. I need one more, one more. See, this is a problem. Last try, and then we'll move on. Russia. We'll move, we'll move to the next. Russia. Russia? All right, you got. All right, so. All right, now you. Ukraine, Turkey, Saudi Arabia. Easy. Damn. Um, <laughs> uh, Armenia. Word. Um. Uh, Australia. Um, okay. Spain. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, you said Spain. Yeah, that's good. With you. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. You any. had enough time oh. to be thinking. <laughs> I really They're wasn't. taking all the ones I know. Um, all them countries. <laughs> Africa. <laughs> Africa is a continent. That is not a country. He's no help. Anyways, um... Morocco, 
Brad, that was given. <laughs> I, I'm going to give it to you just because light. No more light. No more. Kev, light. Egypt. Okay, Egypt. Um, dang. I can't see nothing they said. Mm. Europe. Europe is what? You put something? Try again. No. <laughs> <laughs> he said three. I need the three. Though. All right, we gonna skip. You wanna go? Thank you. Special guests don't need to go. But you wanna go? If you know them, go ahead. Spit them out. If not, that's cool. Philippines. Word. United Kingdom. Word. Make your man look good. <laughs> he like you better. I'm <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm a. I'm gonna help you out. So. Think is, about is France. One of them, no. Yeah, someone named France. Okay. So. Today. Think about all them islands. Like, where are uh, Bob Marley from? Jamaica. Bet. All right, there you go. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get into some fun stuff here now. Uh, y'all like that surprise, right? See, I, mm -mm. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know. Next question. Name three presidents. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, I was about yeah. to walk out. Yeah, I was about to waste the damn time, bro. It's like, come on, we going to school now. Like, I'm just messing with you. I'm trying to wake y'all up. I'm trying to wake y'all up. Um, all right, so let's get into the first question of the podcast. Um, we're going to go with you. No, no, we started with you. We're going to start with you. Dolly. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I think you I, started with her. I started with her the last yeah. time? So we're going to start with you. Good catch. What's your name again? Erica. Erica. You look like an Erica. I'm going to try to remember. Really? That. You do. <laughs> Nobody's ever told me that before. You do look like Erica. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Um, how can I word this? So do you plan on getting married? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so it's a two-prong question. So do you plan on getting married? And... The question to follow up with that is, what are you doing to, uh, you know, put yourself in a position for marriage for your ideal man? Um, yes, I want to get married. Okay. And I would say, what do I do to put myself in the ideal position? I don't put myself in the ideal position. Okay. I would say I'm in a situation now. So, like, I'm already in a situation okay. that I'm committed to right now. So, but I feel like I've done everything that I can do as a woman that wants to get married. I've done my part. So okay. I feel like I do what a wife should do. Got it. But that's the situation that's a little complicated. Yeah. So you just chilling, maybe waiting around. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and what about you? Um, so I question, uh, do you want to get married? And then the next question is, uh, what are you doing to put yourself in the position to get married for your man, future man? I don't particularly care to get married. No, I guess if it happens, I'd be okay with it. But I've never been, I've never been the girl who, like dreamed of a big wedding. Okay, I would get married if it was like the right person and we were like madly in love for like a long time. But I would be happy just being with the person. I don't think marriage is like the end all be all. I think it's just another stage in a relationship. I don't think you need the piece of paper to like signify that you're in love necessarily. I okay. think it's a lot of extra money people spend on a relationship in my opinion got it. um if i got married it would be small and most likely i would sign a marriage certificate and do it to do it if somebody wanted to but i never like oh my god i can't wait to buy a dress i can't wait to spend thirty thousand dollars on my wedding type of thing i okay. think money could be better spent and invested in things that i need like pay off student loans buy a house like travel, do things with. I think it's a lot of money people spend on Got a it. day in my personal opinion. So I'm not doing anything specifically okay. to get there. Um, to So, all right. So you're not really, you know, really um, looking for, you don't really care about marriage too much. No, I think the person in the relationship I have is more important than like the status of it. I think if you're in love and you're with the person, like that's the more first, important. Yeah, a lot than came like, encounter with that. Thought like that. Okay, cool. Fair enough. I just don't think you need like the 
were married to for everyone to know you're happy if you're confident in the relationship. I don't Got it. So you don't really that. care about the status so much. You just want that commitment. You you still want that security though. Yeah, like the commitment, and the security. But if you both know that you're secure in the relationship, I don't need. I don't need. You don't to need like. that. Okay, cool. You're not trying to get half if that nigga mess up. <laughs> no, I also. What if I made more money? Then he gets half of what I have. Mm-hmm, fair enough. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So <laughs> niggas that's gonna be watching this slide of her DMs because uh, you know she ain't looking to take half. She looking to have fun, build a connection, and have a good time, and not lock no lock those niggas down. Um. So cool. Thank you for answering that question. What about you, Dali? So are you, uh, do you want to get married? And what are you doing to put yourself in the right position to get married with your man, ideal man in the future? Um, I don't really care to get married. If okay. it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's just like, a, it's just like another label. I don't really care to get married. Um, I'm not really putting myself in a position to get married. Like I said, I'm single. Yeah. So if somebody were to come my way where I have, you know, I like him and he likes me or she likes me or whatever the case may be. She says she. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're shooting on both ends of the court. Yeah. Okay. All right. No so, shame in that. Have you ever been in a long-term relationship with a girl? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so you're open to either or. Mm-hmm. Got it. Uh, so <laughs> you said that you really don't care. So you're not really putting yourself in that position. Um, but you still would look for for commitment and some type of security with either a male or a female. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Question for you. If it's with a female, um, who's, who's the bottom? (laughs) Doesn't really work that way in those relationships. Kind of work that way. Who? It it depends. So question. Well, well, I'll make it more specific. Uh, are you like the more masculine one or you look for the more feminine type of females? I'm not going to lie. It, it, it does. It doesn't matter. It depends. Like I, I deal with studs. And I okay, deal with femmes. Was- so it's not really like when I deal with a femme, it's not really more like one's masculine and one's not. It's like we're equal. Okay, cool. You just going well equal. Uh, so question for you. When, when you deal with guys, do you want your man masculine or do you want your man feminine? No, he need to, he need to be a man. He need to be masculine. <laughs> he, need, he need to be a man. <laughs> okay, makes sense. I just wanted to clear that up. Thank you for that. Um, and you said your name was again? Layla. Layla. Uh, question. So are you looking to get married? And what are you doing to put yourself in a position to get married? Honestly, I'm not looking to get married. So not, not looking to get married? Yeah, okay. No. And I'm not putting myself in a position to be anyone's oh, time boyfriend. Out. Are you just speaking as soft as her because y'all friends or you really speak no, this soft? No, we talk This is this. really, yeah, I don't feel like I need to yell. <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> yeah, if y'all could just speak a little bit louder. I think you're good, but her mic is a little lower. Okay. Though. Okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. You're not really looking to get married and continue on. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm putting myself in a position to try to get married either. Right now. Okay. Like for right now, that's my answer. Place I'm at in my life. I'm not looking for marriage and I don't want to be a wife. Don't want to be a wife. Not look for marriage. Mm. Are you bisexual too or no? No. Okay. Um, do you want commitment from a man, like security from a man in the future or no? Yeah. Okay. So you still want the commitment, but the title of marriage, you don't really care about it too much. It's kind of like what she said. I don't feel like the title really does anything because you could be married to somebody and still get treated like it's a regular relationship or a fling but you're just stuck with that person now you have to go through more stuff just to leave them i don't want to ever be stuck with someone like that okay so cool but but you still would want true commitment and security from an individual but you don't really have to have a paper signed in the big old wedding yeah okay just want to make sure of that and um Y'all can answer this question together. Are y'all two looking to get married uh, in the future? Y'all been rocking for eight months. Let us know. What's up? Uh, um, yeah, I'm looking to. Get, I mean, I'm, I'm looking to get married. Okay, cool. And Miss, what'd you say your name was again? Faith. Faith. I'm gonna remember that. I'm, I'm bad with names. It's not y'all. It's me. I'm really horrible with names. Ask these niggas back here. They'll tell you. Um, Faith, what are you doing to put yourself in the position? To get that ring from Hustle Man and Rapper. Everything I can as a woman. Okay. Definitely. Like, can you name some of those things? Just. Because I think you're the only one that said 
you well, you said that you were already doing those things. And I'm gonna come back to you too. See I'm what ready. you see what you was doing. <laughs> I got a list. And then for you, uh, what are you actually doing to put yourself in a position? You know, so hustle man could be like, you know what, Shorty, you deserve it all. Understanding him as a man, first mm-hmm. of all. Mm-hmm. Letting him lead me, you know, just, just like, I don't know. I, I feel like I understand him when he taught me a lot. So I feel yeah. like I just understand when it comes to a male perspective, you know, a lot. And um, I do a lot of other wifey things, like, you know, wifey cook and all that. But it's like, I feel okay. like if a man looks at you and he's like, she's loyalty, I feel is everything. Yeah. Loyalty. Okay, there we go. All Loyalty right. is everything, I can say. You know, me just cutting off, just respecting him, period. Yeah. Just respecting. I feel like respect is everything. Whether he does little things, I'm not going to just be like, all right, you're doing this. I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to respect and I'm going to understand. You're going to follow his lead, like you, like you said Most before. definitely. Word. So you said respect, loyalty, I follow his lead. I feel like respect lead. is on top of everything. Loyalty and respect. Okay. Word. All right, that's what's up. Um, going to you. <laughs> uh, so you are you with a man? It's a little complicated. Uh, you said that you're pretty much doing things right now, wifey things. What are those wifey things you're doing, Erica? Um, I cook. I clean. I like you said. I'm loyal. I've been loyal for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. I'm just I'm there. I do his laundry. I make sure I make his life as easy as possible. Um, and then at the end of the day, you know, I provide myself to help him in any way that he needs. So, you know, he needs to talk. He needs whatever he needs. I'm there for that. He needs lunch. I pack him three course meal for lunch, you know, every day okay, of the week. You, you pack you a me? Like, yeah, I'm, I do it. I really do everything. I pack so the lunch. So what's so complicated if you packing a nigga sandwiches? Um, we all it, like sandwiches. It, yeah, when you five years deep, a lot more comes up than some sandwiches. So, okay. feel me? <laughs> he cheated? Good. No, he, he not cheated. He never okay. cheated. But, you know, th- when you are in a long-term relationship, you realize that there's a lot more to it than just cheating. Um, yeah. There's emotional support that needs to be there. There's, you know, there's a lot of things that a man needs to do for a woman that I feel like men nowadays do not think that they need to do. Okay. So emotional support is number one thing. I feel like men don't feel like they need to provide their girl with emotional support. And it's huge because, you know, you want her emotions to be right so she can keep you right. For sure. So um, in the beginning, when I asked you the question, (laughs) you said that it was complicated and you pretty much showed that you're doing your part but he's not doing his part so much. So I think I was right. Somewhere he's lacking, he's inadequate in some ways. So he's inadequate in the emotional standpoint, providing emotional stability uh, to you. Um, is it, does financials have to do with that? Um, uh, my fa- finances, I'm, no, I'm... His. Um, Speak about the man. This is your time to shine. Speak about these niggas. No, it's not. that. <laughs> his finances is his finances. He's fine, feel me. Y'all but live together? Yeah, we live together. Y'all go 50-50? Yeah. Okay, well, that's mm-hmm. why. Yeah, all right, cool. Are you mm-hmm. are you okay with going 50-50? I'm okay with it. I, I have my own business. I have my own bread. I have my own everything. Money is not what I need from a man. Okay. So w- going 50-50 was never an issue if more is coming with that. Okay, so 50-50... It seems, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like he's lacking in some type of security, right? Because security comes twofold. It comes, uh, for females, it's um, uh, financially and it's usually emotionally. Mm -hmm. You already said emotionally. So get into the emotional part because emotions is random. It's like, that's really not tangible. So uh, explain that. What type of Um, emotional support are you yearning for? I think that um, people are different. So I think there's people that are more emotional. There's people that are less emotional. Is he an emotional man? No. Okay. And I think, um, you know, people handle their emotions differently and people handle other people's emotions differently. So um, I'm I'm an emotional person. So especially when it comes to my relationship, my household, my, you know, everything. When a problem happens in your relationship, can you rely on him to fix it? No, I fix it. Okay, so that's there it is right there. I was going to get to that. So that right there, that's a lack of masculinity. Masculine men, what we do is we're problem solvers. We fix problems all day long. 
you actually, if you was in a relationship with me, you won't even think of problems because problems wouldn't happen. A problem would be happen before you see it. I'll slap the problem down. That's how a masculine man operates. I agree. So we're very <laughs> decisive and we're very perspicacious uh, and aware of just life in general to make life much easy for women. You know what I mean? That's the reason why the patriarch, the patriarchy was actually created. The patriarchy was created, you know, uh, that hierarchy of, you know, men, the most dominant men, and then it trickles on down. That was created to protect, to fathers, to protect their daughters. Get what I'm saying? Um, and I can go in more detail with that. But, all right, cool. Uh, anybody got any input they want to throw in that? No? We can get on to the next question. Uh, I'll leave you alone. Actually, <laughs> actually, no, I'm not finished. <laughs> Let's get into it. For you three ladies, right? Uh -oh. So you three ladies do want security from your men. Um, but security, you want commitment and security, but you're not really tripping over the whole marriage, right? Um, so men hold the key to relationships and women hold the key to sex, right? So let's paint, let's go into a dream world, right? Let's say if I was living with my mom, I'm 34 years old and, you know, I was at home playing video games and I wanted the girl you know what I mean? Like I, I wanted to have sex with a girl because remember, women hold the key to sex. Like I really wanted to, you know, get some poon, but I just rather be at home playing video games, eating cereal all day. Um, the probability of me getting vagina would be like zero percent. I would be involuntary celibate. I would be an incel, right? So females, that if you want a commitment and you want some type of security from a man in a future. I think it's a coming upon you to put yourself in the right position to get that commitment from the man. Just like the guy that's eating cereal all day, playing video games, he needs to put down a video game, put down a bowl of cereal, get in the gym, start making some more money, do something with himself so females can be more, so you can be more attracted to a female. Make sense? So I think as a female, this is a little game for you ladies, right? Um, one, you just got to understand what men want. We don't want hoes. That's number one thing. No hoes. Don't be promiscuous at all. Posting thirst traps, we'll hit it, but you know what I mean? We're probably not going to wife you up. Uh, other thing is we want a girl to be submissive. So, you know, if you don't want to follow our lead, like she follows his lead, it's going to be cool. We'll hit it. You know, we'd be in a relationship for like, for a couple years, maybe if the poon good, but over time, you're not really following my lead. You talking back is going to be like, ah, we're not going to elevate you to wifey level. Or commitment level of what y'all want. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We just gonna keep hitting it without giving you that. Just like the fat boy that's playing video games. He's gonna try to keep talking to girls, but he's fat <laughs> and a loser. So he's gonna keep getting denied. Does that correlate? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that correlate. All right, let's get into some phone questions. These ladies like, man, this nigga. Uh, this nigga asking about countries. He's talking about fat people playing video games. Uh, start in, where we start? We started with you, Erica, mm -hmm. right? We're going to start with, now let's start with uh, Faith, actually. We're going to keep this conversation very conservative because I see you don't like it. And I told you, since I ain't say no Fugazi podcast, we're going to keep it very conservative. Faith, uh, should a man care about what his woman wears? Yes, I feel like yes. And why? Well, it's like, I mean, yes. I don't know. Yes, I know. It just depends on the the situation. Like, if you're going to the beach or, like, if you're going out to dinner. Okay. Like, you know, I feel like there's, like, just say we go out to dinner. I want to wear a dress. Show yeah. it my back or something. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Going to the beach, it's, it just depends on like you know. But if you're just going out dressing like ass all out, you know, your breast is just showing. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I feel like that's not a good look on a man if you're with him. Okay, I feel like it's not, and that's my personal opinion. Cool. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, hustle man, you go on this too. You think a woman should, uh, you know, um, wait, let me go to the question. You think men should care about what their woman wear or no? 
Yeah, and the reason I feel like that is because a woman is a representation of a man. Like she represents you. So if she's like this, then what do you like? It just she got she representing you, so she gotta come correct. That's facts. Um, how about yourself? What do you think? I'm gonna say yeah. But only because it's like kind of what he said though. Your reflection, your reflection of your man. So you don't want to go outside and have had everything. Should have nigga. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you don't want to have everything that he's supposed to be coming home to in private out, you know, showing and stuff. And at the same time, you do have to like respect yourself. So you shouldn't want to be dressing too crazy where like everything is just out. Like, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. And what about you, Dolly? Um, I feel like, yeah, no. Yeah, and no. So you 50-50, yeah. explain. Yeah, because it's like a female should know what to wear and what not to wear when they're in a relationship. So it's like he's not going to worry about what I'm wearing because I know what not to wear and what to wear. But if I want to put something on a little sexy and I'm with my man, we could go outside, but I'm not going to do the most and have my buns out. and my, Yeah. You know, but like... Would you put the same sexy outfit on if you went and went out and your man wasn't with you? It depends. It depends what I'm wearing. <laughs> well, that same sexy outfit with your man, I'm saying. Like that outfit. Just think about that outfit. Because you said it. If I put on a sexy outfit and I'm with my man, um, you said that, you know, that's cool. My question is, that same sexy outfit that you would wear with your man, do you think it's okay wearing that outfit without your man and going out? Mm, no. Mm-mm. Okay. So now let's go back to the original question. Um, do you think a man should care about what a woman wears? Like I said, yeah or no. Well, you, you just answered like a full yes the one time. Did I? Yeah. Like you said, <laughs> you put a double yes. You put a oh. yes for being with your man wearing a sexy outfit and you put a yes for being by yourself. Okay, wait, let me fix it then. Let me yeah. fix it then. So if I'm wearing something nice and I'm going out with the girls and I'm wearing something sexy, but it's not too much, like my butt's not out or I don't feel like he should care because you should, we should be confident already in our relationship. You should know that I'm not going to go do nothing. My buns are out. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, yeah. I don't feel like he should care. Okay. You, you know don't, you feel like, you feel like he shouldn't care. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let me ask you a question. What if, cause you're going out with your girls, right? Mm-hmm. So let's paint the scenario on a man's end. So what if, uh, your man went out to the club and it was all the girls in the club wanted to have sex with your man as fast as possible. Like they giving him, free, buying him free drinks. They want to hook up with him. They may not say it like, hey, I want to hook up with you. But you know that these women are going there to have sex with your man mm-hmm. because he's an attractive man and he's wearing, you know, something sexy, a tight shirt. Maybe what color y'all say the shirt is? <laughs> Mwah. They like a moi shirt. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, there we go. Um, do you think, but would you allow your man, but we, not allow, would you be okay with your man going to the club where all these young girls want to have sex with your man and buy him drinks? Would you be okay with that? Honestly, very much so. Okay. No, so you I would. I was in a relationship already and... I'm confident. Do you, if I'm confident in my relationship, you're allowed to go outside with whatever you want to wear. Do you know, do uh, you ever heard of the phrase that a man is only as faithful as, as his options? Mm-hmm. No. mm-hmm. You never heard that phrase? Mm-hmm. Well, that phrase stems from a fact. Um, men are usually only as faithful as their options. So the reason why I twisted it on a man, because when you go out to the club with your girlfriends, right, and you're dressing sexy or not even sexy, you could be dressing however you want to dress, um, guys is going to buy you drinks and you and your friends because that's what happens. That's not true, though. That's not necessarily true. That's if the you female know? is allowing that to happen. Do do you, do you guys approach them and buy you drinks, yes or no? Well, yeah. I'm okay, single. cool. Yeah, so <laughs> even if you don't want it to happen, guys is going to still buy They'll see a group of girls and be like, yo, bottles for that whole table. Mm-hmm. So it still happens. You know what I'm saying? So one, guys is going to buy you drinks. The probability of that happen is like nine out of nine point Eight out of 10 of that happened of girls going to a club and getting a drink bought for them. Also, 
men, we go to the club for the purpose of having sex with girls. So when these niggas go to the club, they want to have sex with you. If you are two, eh, if the nigga ain't get pooned in a while, he'll still have sex with you. If you're 10, they all want to have sex with you. So what I'm saying is that what you just said, uh, you, you putting yourself like you going out to the club <laughs> with your single ladies, you saying that men shouldn't care about that. Well, guess what? We should care about it because why would we want, even if you're faithful, right? Why would we want to park our Lamborghini in a hood? Like the locks is perfect. The locks work great, but it's a Lamborghini. Why would we take the chance of parking it in the hood? Niggas going to sit on it. Niggas could key it. They could try to steal it. That's how yeah. we look at women. We look at y'all as Lamborghinis when we're in, in a committed relationship with you. So we don't want you dressing provocative, going to the club by yourself with your single friends, if that makes sense. And that same scenario. Well, all right. Yeah, I think you get it. Oh, I got it. Okay. You got it. All right. Cool. <laughs> Um, what about you? <laughs> I also feel similarly to her, but I don't really, I mean, I'm not dressing for other people. I'm dressing for myself. Also man or woman. I saw a woman for a long time. And she didn't care how I dressed. When we oh, went you, out. you, you shoot off both ends of the court too. Yeah. Okay. And word. The girl I saw didn't care how I dressed when we went out. She was always like, I love how you look. I would love to show you off. You look great. You yeah. should dress how you want to look. And similarly to that, before I was dating her, I dated a guy and he felt very similarly. He's like, you look great. You should dress how you want uh -huh. because I'm coming home with you at the end of the day. No one else is. So if you want to dress like that, dress like that. But never that guy. Had, never had any issues with anyone I've saw being like, you shouldn't dress like that. And the guy I'm seeing now, same way, like, you look great. You should show off your body. Like you worked hard for. I've never yeah. seen anyone who was... I don't like to date anyone overly jealous because I'm not a jealous person myself. So yeah. someone was very jealous and like controlling of like clothing <laughs> specifically. I would see that as a red flag. I would never wear anything okay. super crazy, but all, like, cause I am 30, I'm not going to look wild in yeah. public. But at the same time, like if you're telling me what I can and can't wear, I think that's a little too controlling in the little first too place controlling and for like you? a red flag. I don't want to, you're not going to tell me what I can and can't wear in public. Okay. I wouldn't Ooh. tell my man or my girl what she couldn't couldn't wear in public. I feel like they would feel the same way about me if I was seeing a girl and I was like, oh, you shouldn't wear that dress. Like, it's a little yeah. too much for me. So would you say it's jealousy that the man feels? Or is it just that you wearing provocative clothing, um, sexy clothing, and, uh, you know, showing off what, well, put it like this, that guy. The guys that you've been with, right? And they didn't have any standards for you to dress more modestly. They just was like, they was cool with it. It's like, okay, yeah, do what you want to do. Have fun, right? Um, who broke up with? Did you break up with them or they broke I up with you? Up with you these. broke up with them. Yes. Okay. So you broke up with them. I'll tell you why you broke up with them. Because those were inadequate men. Those were not masculine males. I'll explain. A masculine male, we're not jealous of our girl wearing, uh, you know, some type of clothing and chilling with her single friends. And there's no jealousy in our heart. That's not there. Is that we have standards, right? So a masculine male, he has a, a frame. And that frame, that woman is inside his frame, right? And uh, with the woman being inside his frame is his way or the highway, meaning that He's he's willing to tell you, okay, if you're not gonna follow what I want, goodbye. So it's not jealousy, it's more like that's a standard. And it's a, a standard is it's a preference. And usually masculine men, their preferences are much higher because they could demand that. If you're not with it, I'll get someone else because I'm masculine and I worked on myself. So you're easily replaceable. Make sense? So guys that is not masculine of low value and don't have the, a lot of options to replace you, well, they'll take anything. So those guys are actually very insecure because they're not secure in the position in their relationship to tell you how they truly feel. Because all men, we don't want our girls dressing provocative or any sexy clothing when we're not with them, with their single friends. We, it's just innately in us. We get like disgusted by it. It's like, uh, it kind of hurts inside. It's no jealousy. It's like, you're, it's my Lambo. And I'm parking it 
with all these thugs and gangsters around <laughs> that in New Jersey drive, you know, they steal cars in Jersey. You get what I'm saying? So it's just in us not to do it. Makes sense or no? Yeah, but I think everyone's definition of like sexy or provocative could also be different. That is, so yes. like that there, is there's also that. There's also levels to it. You're one hundred percent correct. And I'm not saying that, you know, you probably I don't know how you're dressing. You probably was dressing just how you are now, which is totally perfect, right? Um, like not provocative at all. And your man could have been cool with it. But I mean, like, you know the levels when stuff is showing, skirt a little too short. If dudes is allowing that, usually they're uh, normally lower value. Like, guys will allow that if they're with you going to the club. Yeah, I'm with my shorty. Kind of, not wear whatever, but you, we could have fun, dress sexy. I'm with you. But if I'm not with you, uh... Nah, but in not only that, like a masculine male, when a girl is with a masculine male, she knows what not to wear and what to wear. Like, it's not even a question. She's just like, yeah, my nigga ain't gonna, he ain't gonna take that. Make sense? A little bit. All right, cool. What about you, Erica? Um, yeah, I mean, I agree with what you said. Yeah. I think, yeah. Um, yeah, I see you shaking a, your head. Yeah, because I think, um, yeah, I wouldn't park my Lambo in the hood either. So, yeah. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I agree. And, 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 because like men, <clears throat> We're naturally territorial. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's not, and that's how we should be because I want that security. So if we weren't territorial, then how would you really get that security from us? You get what I'm saying? So like we, it's not like we have to be like that. We just are like that. And since all men are like that, uh, the higher of, you know, the more masculine that guy is, the more you're going to know like what you can get away with and what you can't get away with, if that makes sense. Um. Any input? No? All right, it's a good crowd. <laughs> what you got, Erica? No, you got some? Oh. Uh, let's have fun. Let's, let's try to get you guys more engaged. You brought up red flags. So let's talk about red flags. Start with you. <laughs> <laughs> Start with you. So uh, what's a red flag that you see in a guy that you ignore? Ooh. Like, it's like, you see it like, a uh, red flag, but... That nigga probably, he, he got something else that's just keeping you there. A red flag that I ignore, <clears throat> honestly, is somebody who's like, who hides like their cell phone. Like, put that, he put that joint. Yeah, face like, down. or not even that. Like, it's just like, it's far, far away. Like, you don't even got a phone. Like, it's different if It'd you're doing hidden. it out of respect, but like, yeah. you're literally hiding it because, or like, you don't answer a phone call because, you know. No, yeah, yeah. yeah well, she's is. saying she'll ignore that one. I would, I'm not gonna lie, I would ignore it like ignore a couple one. of times. To, yeah, because it's like, <laughs> I don't, like it's, it's, I don't it's know. a red flag, but it ain't it's that a red big flag. Of a deal. But it's like if I'm, if I just started talking to you, so I'm not like yeah. gonna be all in. Oh, let me see your phone, like, or why are you hiding your phone? Jump into conclusions because some people are private or whatever. But to me, that's kind of a red flag that I ignore. Okay. Like, yeah. Ah, right, good one. Uh, <laughs> we gotta let you go, hustle man. What's a red flag you see in a chick? Um, it could be uh, you don't gotta talk about present. You can talk about present or past that you've seen uh, that you maybe ignored. Let me see. Um, like you was hitting some junk. He was like, man, this stink a little bit, but freaking, I'm gonna keep going. Nah, um, let me see. Uh -huh. Wait, oh, red flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga, do that. He nasty. Uh, no, no, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> that ain't a red flag. <laughs> That's a, you going to the hospital flag. <laughs> That's give it up. I feel like a red flag is where like it's where like if feel like if feel like she not uh, she uh, she got something to hide like she's not like she's not being like you know like, you feel like she's not being herself. Okay. I just feel like it's like something there that's it's, it's, you know. not being herself, but you you ignore that before yeah. the path. I feel you. All right, all right. That's cool. Um, what about you, Faith? It's a red flag and hustle man, a rapper, maybe that you was like, man, this nigga, but you ignored it or just in your past that you ignored. Um, with, I would say with him, um, I feel like a lot of females would like make like an argument about it and just like, like just argue about like him liking 
females pictures on Instagram. I thought you was about to say you seen this nigga smashing something. You was like, hey, you know what? Keep going, buddy. Keep five more pumps no, in. No, but I feel like um, I feel like females that are like very, I would say weak minded. Liking pictures on Instagram when it comes to like just multiple, just say multiple females. Okay, liking multiple female pics. Right. Okay. I feel like that's right. that's a red flag, but I look at the bigger picture where it's like, why? I honestly don't mm-hmm. care. I, I don't care because <laughs> I just don't like. You that's don't something care, but you know it's I like do. ah, it could like, be a little reddish, but it could, whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's like. I, I would feel some type of way, but that was, like, in the beginning where I'd be like, why are you liking this girl picture, this you know? But it's like, at this point, it's like, I I feel like I shouldn't care because it's just a double tap, you know? <laughs> None of us are paying attention. <laughs> why did he Why are you joking her, like that, like... killing the spice? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yo, oh, shit, this nigga to kill a spider. This nigga. Oh, Yo. That nigga jumped. Yeah. My bad, my bad. That was. <laughs> so, liking pics, red flag, but hustle, man. He hustle, man. So, he out there hustling. He's like, man, he, he getting the money, he getting the bag. Freak them likes. I'll nah, tell but, you. Nah, but mm-hmm. I look at mm-hmm. it. I look at it like, it's just a picture. Like, mm-hmm. I can like it and I can forget. Yeah, out, like, I don't even remember. It just yeah, really. That's how niggas are. Like, yeah, we, no, I mean, so, <laughs> that's why I understand. Like, it's, at the end of the day, I feel like it's business too. Like, you know, especially business with hustle, man. You out there hustling, getting it, and uh, but not only that, um, like, like it ain't no care to us. Like he said, it's just like us oh, a picture. You know, we forget it, and the second we liked it, right. like we ain't over there, like. Oh, then she had the cake. Like, I'm trying to see what that's right. about. Yeah, it ain't right. even that deep. Mm-hmm. So why did you like it then? Yeah, exactly. Like, so what's the you point? Like you like what you see? It's innately in no. men. No, did you no. like what you see? It, in order to like something, yeah. you have to like what you see. Yeah, it's innately in so. men to be like, it's for two reasons, right? Mm-hmm. Why dudes like pics. Um, it could be for just, well, actually, it's for three reasons. The, men, uh, the third reason don't count, like for business. You know, you're trying to get mm-hmm. the attention to maybe send a message or and get them to see it. Um, the other reason is for, uh, so it isn't even like, it could be like friend type, you know what I mean? Like homie type, like, okay, like that, that's the homie. Or I know her, I see she doing her thing. It could be a like, like that. Meaning that it's kind of like platonic. We ain't really thinking nothing of it. We ain't liking it to get her attention. So maybe she see it and maybe, you know what I mean? Then the other one is for that. The other one is the like where it's like. I hope she see this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Usually niggas do it that second like where it's just like tap tap, yeah, you look cool, but like I ain't really trying nah, to pursue it. Nah, not the second tap. It's usually the first one. I don't know. Uh, but it, you know like what? If they know. like multiple He's- pictures then he said like that's like if that's like oh that's the home girl like i get that like okay, yeah, i grew up with her. She looked nice or mm-hmm. her kid or I understand that, but like you said, you want to be seen, you're trying to get that person's attention you probably inboxed them already they didn't notice so now you're gonna like their stuff because you like what you've seen yeah and then it's also like if your female was doing that how would you feel like all right she could say that's her homie but then what if it's just like a guy oh no i just liked i liked his fit well it's totally different like, do you think men do you think men and women are the same okay. i'm just saying though you wouldn't want you, you wouldn't want to scroll on social media and then see your female well do you like, think like, men like, and like, women like, are the same? honestly I really don't even feel like having that debate because that's so annoying. No, 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 no it's not a debate. It's a question. Yes like, or no? I can't give you a yes and a no because I, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, um, it depends what it the de- yeah. I feel like it depends. Like, wait, I men like and no. women depend on if like like no. we're the same. Or they're like, not the same, I but it depends. Like it's on not the same. It depends, answer. like the situation, like. Like you just said, like it's different if a female's liking the stuff, but not for the man. Why? Okay. Well, well, that's where I'm getting at. Because do you think men and women are the same? Answer the question. Yes or no? It's in very this black situation, and white. No, in no, this no. Situation. In Sam? all situations, like not in all. No, not in all situations. Okay. So, quick thing right. before you go, right? Just to explain some ladies, just mm-hmm. some knowledge. There is no gray area. There's black and white. Gray area is just something that you don't understand at the moment, so you think it's gray. 
right? Think about it. Like, it's like, uh, like think about when you think like, well, I, I don't really know. Like, you know, maybe that's because you either, it's up, down, left, right. Yes, no, accept, decline. That's how life operates. When it's great to you and you don't really understand, you start to be like, ah, 50, 50, you know, maybe. <laughs> but once you fully get an understanding of something, it becomes black and white, if that makes sense. So for you, yes or no? Are men and a woman the same? I said yes. I mean, I said no, like in gotcha. certain situations. Oh, no, 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 no. You said no. <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> so since men and women aren't the same, because they aren't the same, physically, uh, you know, we have uh, bigger bones, thicker bones, big, you know, uh, bigger bone density. Um, we're, muscles is just physically stronger. Um, everything. We're physically stronger than women. I mean... We hold life in us. Um, you you don't hold life in you unless we put life in you, right? But we're holding it. Yeah, yeah, unless we put it in you. I have life in me right now. Are any of you pregnant? No life in you besides your own life. <laughs> I got 80 million life right now in me, in my nutsack. They floating around. So I have life in me. I'm a sentient being that has other sentient beings in me, right? You don't have that unless we put you in there. So it's much different. And then vice versa, you could have babies and we can't. So that's a beautiful thing. You birth, we plant a seed and you make that grow. You get what I'm saying? So we're totally different. So now let's go back to the, uh, to the topic, right? So uh, you said, well, I said men, a man liking a, a picture is different than a woman liking a picture. And you said why, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh who garners more attention on Instagram or on social media? Do women garner more attention or do men garner more attention? Women. I feel like it's both. Okay. Because so, okay. Uh, what would you rate yourself from one to, one to ten? Mm, I've seen this on another clip. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get into that. But what would you rate yourself one to ten? Like looks or... This looks. Looks. Mm, I'm going to say I'm a nine. Okay, so you're going to give yourself a nine, right? Mm. So you're a nine, and let's say when you put up a, a story, right? Um, when you put up a story, how many, and be honest, it's no fugazi. How many likes do you get on that story of you, you know, in a picture of yourself, a story of yourself, how many likes do you get and uh, messages do you get from a story? Lights. I'm not gonna lie, I don't count them. So many you can't even count. Okay. So how many messages do you get from when you put up a story from guys? I don't look at those either because it's too many. Too many. Okay, yeah. look, off the count. So think about that, right? So the fact is that you're not a nine. You're much lower than that. But you ding yourself and as I a nine, see. which is cool. <laughs> so I'll give you that. So I'll say you're an average looking woman. And some guys will give you above average because attraction really isn't uh, uh, subjective, like people tend to think it's actually objective because there are beauty standards out there. It's scientifically proven that attraction is normally symmetrical. They look at things like they, uh, a symmetrical face and bone structure, jaw bone structures, and the, the symmetry of your face uh, just automatically makes you more beautiful than the average person when you're symmetrical. So that's one thing, right? So that's scientifically proven. It's just in all humans to see the person that is symmetrical as, oh, they just, we're attracted to that. We're drawn to it. But then there's a lot, lot of other features too, but I'm not going to get into that. So uh, you deem yourself a nine, perfectly fine. And you get all this attention from guys, right? Um, you get likes, you get messages. And, but the fact is that you're, you're not that, you're, you're not a nine, but I'll give it to you. I'll let you think that, right? On the other hand, men, I am, uh, I'm not going to rate myself, uh, but I am an above average man. Money, physique, and all. I'm six foot four. Only 15% of the population is six foot. So I'm well above that. I make well over 100K. Only 20% of the population makes 100K, you know, because men, uh, women tend to look at finances and stuff like that. So me, myself, and I personally, I use myself as, as an example. Since I'm speaking about you, I'll speak about myself. I don't garner that much attention. And I got 71,000 followers. And I don't garner that much attention. 
Um, you yeah, and I got a whole lot of millions on other social media platforms. So I'm just speaking, up, speaking about Instagram now. So the facts is that you liking the picture and me liking the picture is totally different because guys, like sex sales, ladies, the reason why OnlyFans exists, the reason why Pornhub and all these other things exist is because men are horny and they want to get pwned. So when you post a sexy picture, you're going to get a whole lot of attention for it. When I post a sexy picture, guess what? There's not women that pays for OnlyFans and, and sex. Women don't pay for sex. Males pay for sex. So when I post a picture, I get no attention. Males don't garner attention from the opposite sex how women garner attention from the opposite sex. So when you like a nigger's picture, he's going to see that and be like, oh, she just <laughs> like my picture. Let me slide her DMs. Yeah. When I like a female picture, guess what? She got 20 or 100 other niggas liking her picture, so she may not even notice my like. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So it's just totally different. Those are the facts. You get what I'm saying? I don't agree so, with that. Well, you don't have to agree with it. Yeah. That is 100% true. Yeah. I use, you use you as an example, and I use me, a nigga with a whole lot of clout. And I don't garner nowhere near that much of attention that you garner. It that could be it though. There's a lot of men with a lot of clout who think because they have it's not clout. That much I'm just clout. talking about. I'm just talking about just if we just do the levels. You get what I'm saying? That from from what you talk, talked mm -hmm. about yourself and from what I talked about myself, I literally have everything there to garner more attention than you. Mm -hmm. But you have less there, but you still garner a whole lot more. So the point that I'm making is that. A man liking a woman's picture and a woman liking a man's picture is just totally different because women garner more attention. So since she garners more attention and a nigga likes her picture, it doesn't mean anything, right? But if you like a nigga's picture, he doesn't garner as much of attention, so it means something. A lot more. Make sense? We're going to have to agree to disagree. Yeah. Right, well, We're gonna have to agree I'll to disagree. leave you alone. But do you ladies understand that yeah, or no? I, agree with that. no? I know you don't agree with it because y'all rock together. Do you agree I, with no, that? I agree with the way you're breaking that, that down. Yeah. Yeah. You like that breakdown? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I don't agree that, you know, men and women, I still feel like, listen, you shouldn't be liking shit if I'm not liking right. shit. That's yeah. what I feel. But yeah, I, I do see what you're saying. Like, yeah, obviously, a man and a woman, very different. I post a story. He posts a story. He could be a 10. He probably not getting 100 DMs. I probably will get. 200 of them Facts. like it's just how it goes that's just how it goes yeah um and you know because life is a double standard y'all probably looking at me like oh this nigga sexist he's talking about double standards well life is sexist you ladies if you go to miami you could all get in the club for free me i ain't getting in the club for free I got to buy a VIP section. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ladies, you can mm -hmm. probably get in the VIP section for free. You looking nice, you dressing sexy, niggas going to come around. Not only that, all you ladies can create an OnlyFans or sell some feet pictures on feet finders yep. and niggas will be paying you. Me, my ugly dogs, <laughs> y'all females ain't purchasing to see my feet. You feel what I'm saying? So there are double standards that males benefit from and there are double standards that females benefit from, but that's just life. But... I think women tend to complain about the double standards that they don't benefit from, but men don't complain about the double standards that they don't benefit from. Like, you don't hear men complaining like, bro, she getting mad likes, bro. Like, ding, bro. Like, I post a pic, yo, I look better than her. I, ain't even, I got more followers, bro. I ain't, I ain't garnered that much likes. Think about it. Women, the WNBA and the, the WNBA and the NBA, you see all these women complaining about, oh, we need to get paid more and this and this. Uh, silly, no one watches that. <laughs> no one knows a WNB player. A name. Maybe you can name one, but that's about it. So, I'll lay my plane there. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, Thali, right? Are y'all comfortable? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, I told y'all y'all should have uh, shouted out the No Fool Gazy podcast in the beginning. I would have I would have left y'all alone. Mm -mm. Same question. What was the question? The red flags. Red flags. Yeah, that's right. Red flags. Uh, what's a red flag? Because wait, you went. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Y'all went. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So then we gonna go this way and back up. Yeah. What's a red flag that you see in a guy that you like, Dane? But it's so much other things about him. You ignore it. I'm gonna step you to the bathroom. Ignore. Yeah. Sure. Do you think? Ignore, okay. Um. Yeah, first a red flag you see, and and like, 
Oh yeah, we could do oh guy and girl. Uh yeah, we could do. Nah, let's just do guy. No, no, we could do both for you. All we'll right. do both for you too. All right. What's the first? I got, yeah. I got, I got some. Purpose. So let's, so let's do a uh, woman. A, 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 well, actually, let's do guy. A red flag you see in a guy, but you ignore. With a guy, I think I ignore communication. Like okay. So if he's not really communicate, I think most women tend to ignore that. Yeah. That's a good one. But yeah, I, won't along the, I won't along the line, but when I, at first I do, I ignore it. I don't know why, but I do. I'll be hoping I could fix it, but I can't. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what about in a girl? This should be interesting. Huh? With a girl? Yeah. <sighs> My red flag that I ignore with a girl is when they switch up. Like when I'm, if I meet you, if I meet her like this, and then, <laughs> oh my god, I don't care. This. I'm gonna say it. Oh, she's spitting G. <laughs> if I meet her like this, and then just because I backed her, she would have start acting like a little boy. Girl, mm. I didn't meet you like a little boy. Don't act okay. like one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you saying if you meet the female and she's you know very feminine and you know submissive type but then the next time you see her she's like more well, gangster with it Only that's a turn off me. yes that's a red flag because you're not being yourself question for you sure um if the guy was broke would that be a red flag Honest, it's no fugazi. It, it, no, it it like it honestly like Say if, it, with your if chest. it was like the beginning and like it's like he just lost his job or something like that, I would have been like, all right, whatever. But get but get back on your. But feet. I mean, like just but, yeah, no, generally, like be, if no, a guy's broke, broke. No, okay, all right. <laughs> if the female is broke, would that be a red flag? Yeah, she can't be broke either. She can't be broke either. Okay, can you push the mic closer to you because you got a real soft voice. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right, all right, all right. You're fairly... Thanks, Kev. Um, I'll leave you alone for now. What about yourself, Massachusetts? I was also going to say communication, but I think I ignore it in, in both genders. Okay. Mostly just that the communication is like, it can be spotty and I'll be like, oh, okay. Also think it will like improve later. And then it just becomes that they just don't communicate in general. Uh -huh. And they're just poor communicators down the line they won't solve problems they become mm -hmm. i tend to end up they, the poor communicators become very defensive in arguments because they can't communicate anything yeah. effectively but it's my fault because at the beginning when they barely communicated anything i was like oh it's okay maybe they just haven't opened up yet yeah and then come to find out they're just people who don't express emotions and so then we would argue and then i tend to argue in circles with these types of people Got it. So that's a red flag you ignore. Um, and a guy. Well, you said in both. Yeah, the last like long-term relationship with a guy I had was very much like that. And then yeah. the, the girl also, the communication was like very poor. We just argued in circles all the time because the communication was... Question for you. Great. Since both of you date both genders, um, who's more intolerable when they get into like uh, like, is it the man or the woman when it comes to, like, you know, arguments and stuff or, you know, disagreements? Like, who's more intolerable? Where it's just like, I just can't tolerate this. Do you tend to see that on a man's side or do you tend to see it on a woman's side? You're just like, when I date these women, it kind of like maybe the same situation as the man. But with her, I just can't tolerate it. With the guy, I, I more can tolerate these things. Um, they're both the same to me. I don't like arguing. It could, it could be, it could be, um, all right, I'll, I'll rephrase the question mm -hmm. with inadequacies. So it, it could be anything. It could be arguments. It could be, uh, no motivation to do better for themselves. No drive, no finance. Like it could be a multitude of things, just inadequacies itself. So inadequacies just means that they're lacking in something. So. When, there, when it's a man and a woman, who tends to be more intolerable um, when they're inadequate, inadequate? A man. A man, okay. In that, in, that, in that phrase, then, yeah. What about you? So I haven't had many relationships with women, mm -hmm. but 
I feel like arguing wise, it's harder to argue with a girl because if you like, I feel like I'm heated. I feel like arguing with another another woman with heightened emotions, I feel like is way worse. Yeah. Um, inadequacy wise, inadequate, I'm, like they're lacking. Um, w- which which is like more intolerable? Meaning, like you will not tolerate these inadequacies from a man, or you will not tolerate these inadequacies from a woman. I feel like it's equal. I don't want to tolerate them from either gender, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I don't well, really feel like I would want to specify that it's better if a man has it or if a woman has it. I feel like okay. in either situation, it wouldn't be. So you, right, you said for a man, mm-hmm. and I, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you said for a man is because when a man is inadequate, since you look for security value from that man, if he's inadequate, then how can he provide you that security, right? So it's like, mm-hmm. I can't tolerate this because you're supposed to have your stuff together. Mm-hmm. You are the man. Mm-hmm. Just like you said, if you want to, if you are with a man, you want a masculine man. You don't mm-hmm. want him feminine. Um, does that make... Yeah. Did I correlate that right to yeah, the thing? Okay, perfect. Uh, what about you? When you're with a man, do you prefer a masculine man or a feminine man? Masculine. Okay. When you're with a woman, um, are you with studs or are you with the girly girls? Either. Either. Um, are you usually the stud type or the girly girl? Or you could be... Like, am I personally? Yeah. Or would I date one? Oh, well, I would say I'm girly. You would like say you're femme, girly. but I would date either. Okay, cool. All right, uh, thank you for that, lady sharing that. I appreciate that. Because it's the first time we had, we asked this question to bisexual females that actually been in relationships, um, <clears throat> you know, like long-term with females and men that can give some insight and some feedback. So, good. What about you, Erica? Uh, any red flags you see in a guy that you ignore? Mm, when they're tatted. Ah, okay. That's it. That's the one. So, okay, she explain. Said, why, that's is, the one. why is tats? I'm tatless. Listen. But why is tats a red flag? Because I'm going to tell you something about them tattoos brings all the bitches in. So, listen. <laughs> listen. If you Poor got women, a tatted one, you stay strong, sis. Okay. Because... T- <laughs> mm. Okay. So, the guys with the tats, you think that... Okay, he mm-hmm. got tats. He got a little he bit more to that. more attention. There's a little bit, and then there's a little bit like, why you got all them tattoos, boy? Okay. Wait, 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 why? <laughs> like, I like them, you so like I know them. everybody else do, but mm. why are they there? Okay, like okay. you know, you got a little story to you, I'm sure. You know, Maybe I don't been know. Through some stuff. Yeah, like there's okay. some. Yeah, nine yeah, out of ten times, are. I'm not. Gonna, yep, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say. Listen, listen, nine <laughs> out of ten times, there do be that one time yeah. where. It, they just like the art. They like cool, the art. Cool, but mm, I met quite a few felons. I made quite a few, you feel me? And yeah, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, okay, the tattoos, okay. but I'm st- I'm ignoring it. But there's a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a good one. I never heard that one before, actually. Mm-hmm. Tattoos being a red flag. Yeah. Well, I know you're going to ignore it. Yeah. Just tattoos being yeah. a red flag. I would say tattoos on a woman is more of a red flag. Yeah, I agree as well, um, but... On a man, I wouldn't really say... She's like trying to come. <laughs> nah, yeah, I'm not coming at y'all. Yeah, nah, like, listen, y'all. Y'all to each their fine. own, but. <laughs> yeah, all fine, y'all fine. So, so the reason why I think it's a red flag for a woman um, is because normally when human beings, this is one thing we're similar about, right? Um, and actually, men and women, we're more alike than we are not alike. Those are the facts. But the things that we are uh very different from that's what really separates us um but all human beings right to ink yourself and you know to it hurts it's pain um normally it's psychology wise it's it's a more neurotic action it's a more spontaneous action um and it's a more like uh like that uh like i don't care type of like a vibe or behavior that the person has to have in themselves to get a tattoo. And as you can see, I'm tatless because uh, I don't move off of emotions and I don't move off. And that's fine. It's all good. Like my man over here, he tatted up. Nigga got a, this nigga, this nigga got a tat on his heart. Well, he would have a tat on his heart if he can get one. But um, but females tend to like it on men is because that shows like, oh, he's courageous. Like mm-hmm. he just he's doing that. And it tends to be more of like that bad boy and females like like that bad boy look. Mm-hmm. But on the opposite end for men, we like the art of it. But when we're thinking logically, it's kind of like what you going through. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But that's because men, we like our women to not have went through much. Women like their men to have gone through a lot. Because if he went through a lot, that means he can handle a lot and you'll feel more secure. If the woman went through a lot, then it's like eh, the probability that she went through all that and didn't smash these niggas because she was going through that and was, wasn't stressed about this and then slipped in some other penis because she was going through that is extremely low. She, she probably was promiscuous. Make sense? It's disconnecting the dots. Okay, I'll, I'll tattoos stop. Tattoos is a green flag. <laughs> yeah, tattoos is normally a green flag for men and it's a red flag for women. Um, mm-hmm. You good? Any ladies got any input before we move on to the next question? Are y'all having fun? You need me to spice this up a little bit? We've been rocking for how long? Hmm? Almost an hour. Almost an hour, so we got time. Yeah, we got a little bit more than that. What, y'all going to the club after this? Yeah, it's the loves. Oh, y'all doing the loves? They are. They are. I ain't going. I ain't oh, yeah, going. yeah, I ain't going. <clears throat> um, so next question. Why won't women submit? Because they feel like they are more than the man. Mm, she was off the bat with it. Good. Can you move your mic a little closer? Yeah. Okay, so they think like they are more than the man. Yeah. Moving right along. Thank you for that, Erica. <laughs> uh, same question for you. Why won't women submit? It's general. Women, a lot of women have the independent woman. I don't need like a man. Okay. Type energy nowadays. So I feel like they think they're giving it up if they do. Okay. All right. That's that's good. Now we're getting somewhere. It's heating up. Uh, Thalia. Thal- Thalia, right? Dali. 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 Mm-hmm. By the end, he'll get it. No, I, trust <laughs> no, me. He so probably I can, won't. I had this girl come on three times. I still didn't get her name right. Yeah. I suck with names. I'm good with this logical stuff, but when it comes to names, I'm horrible. Dolly. Go ahead, Dolly. Um, Why won't women submit? Dang, I don't know. An answer to this one. I was going to say what she said, but I can't. I don't know. Well, you can elaborate more on it with what which one said. They both basically said the same thing. Uh, no, nah, she said, um, what did you say again? You said... The, the women feel like they're more... Well, I guess it goes hand in hand. You said the women feel like, like they're more. And mm-hmm. then you said that, well, you know, women are, you know, more independent now and stuff like that. Um, what would you it say? kind of falls To elaborate so more. But yeah, um, basically, like, like, I feel like I do more in a relationship. So why would I... Want to submit to you. You know what I'm saying? No. Okay. Well, no. That's cool. Yeah. If if oh. you are doing more than the guy or you bringing more to the table, it's like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm not submitting to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Um, Moving on. Um, She might feel like he's not like man enough for her to submit to him, to be submissive. Like. Okay. So he's lacking the masculinity. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hustle man. Um. Let's do hustle man last. Faith, why you think woman? Why don't you think women submit? Generally speaking, not yourself, but just women in general. Feminism. Mm. Speak on it Feminism. a little bit. I feel like men are not our enemy. You know, we're supposed to, you know, submit. That's what we're put on this earth to do. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like having kids being a wife being with one man i feel like i feel like a lot of women don't realize that until maybe they've been through a phase you know Mm -hmm. but maybe it takes that phase for them to realize you know that that's not it fucking every nigga like fucking three niggas a week you know like i feel like that's not it because how do you feel as a woman? Yeah. You know, like doing that, you know? So why not, why not submit? I feel like a lot of women are just in their head like, well, I don't need a man. I can do this. I can pay my phone bill. Like, you know, they're just like so in their head. Yep. Where- and you say, you're pretty much saying feminism, you know, uh, caused, uh, gave women, you know, the, these rights, um, which is, you know, they should have all of, you know, rights and privileges as everyone you know 
Um, but you're saying still with uh, great power comes great responsibility. So since women now have the power of a man to be out there in the workforce, now the response they're lacking on the responsibility part is because now they're just like, oh, whatever, I'm independent right. and I'm going to do what I want. I don't need you, nigga. Right. But then they realize that when they're 30 years old, no kids, you know, realizing like, damn, I've been trying to compete with men and I don't have kids, mm -hmm. I have a husband. I don't have anyone I built and a relationship with, you know? How old are you? I'm 20. That is amazing. Um, hustle man. Found yourself a good one, dog. <laughs> Found yourself a good one. Uh, you you finish or you want to keep going? Got any more? You you spitting? So keep going if you want. Um, I feel like women just need to understand the perspective of men, not just. I feel like perspective all around. I feel like women. Well, some women. I'm not gonna say all women. You Is know? it safe to say most? Most. Okay. Yes, and this. In this society, yes. Okay. In this generation, it's like, I don't know. I feel like I don't know what it's going to take for women to realize that they need a man in their life. A king is not a king without a queen. A queen is not a queen without a king, you know? So I feel like, I feel like that's just, that's just what it is. Okay. All right. Word, word. Um, Erica, you over here flipping, you <laughs> breathing, <gasps> you whining. If men were to lead, then women would submit. But not exactly. women are not here to submit just because they should submit. No, if I got all my own shit, mm -hmm. if I make my own money, all that, I know you said before a man don't want that because, you know, you too independent. You have your own opinion now. You could talk back. You got things to say. You feel me? No, if a man is doing what he's supposed to be doing as a man, if he's, you know, leading the way and I feel like he know what he's doing, I'm going to I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to be like, no, it's my way. No, it's your way because it's the right way. So, yeah, I'm going to follow your lead. But if you're not leading, why I'm going to go and follow you? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not at all. I'm going to let okay. you know that I have my own shit. So so now you saying uh, she said feminism was a cause. Oh, hold up. Let me. Can you scooch over so the camera gets in the mood? I'm going to move the mic. Yeah, it's better. Um, so she said, you know, feminism and, you know, that's on women because they have the power, but they lack it in the responsibility. Um, with great power comes great responsibility. You're saying, well, yeah, but men are lacking. So since men are lacking, how can we submit to these inadequate feminine yes. men? They want to be the bad bitch so bad. Okay, that's a good argument. They want to be the bad bitch so bad, so how am I supposed to be the bad bitch? There can't be two of us. So, listen. That's fact. You want you be a man, and I will be the bad bitch, and we could make something happen, but feel me? They don't, they're not doing that. They're not. So there's no reason. Like, listen, I'm, mm -hmm. I was raised foreign, you know, like, a woman do what a woman got to do. A woman stays home. A woman cleans and cooks. I do all that. Yeah. I also make money on the side. So I bring both, you feel me? And yeah. I want a man that is the full package as well. So, question, right? So you two are not far apart from what you said. Actually, you, you correlate together, but two different ends because mm -hmm. you're focusing on the females you're focusing on the men, but mm -hmm. I think it still correlates. Um, who do you, for you two, well, first go to you, Faith. Uh, who do you think, what party, because we only got two parties, Democrat and Republic, Republic uh, Kim party, which party makes women not be able to submit? And which party makes men more feminine? Is it the Democratic Party or the Republican Party? <laughs> you need to you need to like elaborate because okay. Dominican yeah okay so um which party uh promotes sexual liberation which party promotes feminism meaning that yeah get the bad girl you don't need no man go ahead out there and get it which party promotes the slut walk um which party promotes you know eh, genders well you know there's a hundred of them so. Which party has really no frame in what their beliefs are and which party does have the frame? So pretty much, which party do you think uh, 
is making men more feminine and girls not being able to, to submit. I still don't understand the question. I don't think it got anything okay. to do with a party. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this, I felt like, yeah, Democrats. I felt like, I was going to say that. I feel like it doesn't. I it feel did, like it's for our like, generation, I don't think they even know because I don't. Yeah. Yeah. No, listen. <laughs> Girl, like, I, so look, we're getting to it. And this, it's not a political podcast, but I wanted to just correlate something real fast. Maybe ask it another way. Yeah, I'll ask it in another way. I got you. Um, uh, so, so feminism. Wh- who, where do you, which party do you think o- Obama gave the rights for gay people to get married, right? Okay. Um, so let's just put it there, right? You know you know about that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, which is, that is, we got two, you know, lesbians over here as well, but you guys not looking for marriage, <laughs> so I, I guess you don't even really care. Like, yeah, I freak Obama. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so think about that, right? So pr- I'll just give the answer to you. So it's the uh, Democratic Party that is more like, you know, we're t- let's be tolerant. Let's tolerate everyone and, you know, stuff like that. If whatever you believe in, you know, it's your truth. And <sighs> it's it's stuff like that. Right. Uh, so within females being well, not being able to submit, that would come from feminism. And right. the Democratic Party is what promotes feminism. Right. So I'll just leave it there for you. Let, let me ask her. Maybe you may know a little bit about it more. Uh, which party do you think make men more soft? I don't know nothing about the parties. I think, yeah. but I think what you're saying though, along those lines, I think that all that, all those blurred lines, all these pronouns and you know, all that type of stuff. I feel like that has also blurred the lines a lot between men and women and the roles and, you know, who should do what and who yeah. should follow and all that. So I feel like men are now acting, you know, they doing their thing. They, they are a lot more feminine than they used to be. So Yeah, because cause that was the argument between you two, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it wasn't an argument, but that was like the debate we're having here. So you said guys, you said women sh- can't submit because a multitude of reasons and feminism. You said men are soy boys and they're too feminine. So why would women submit to those men? So right. I'm saying, mm-hmm. I'm saying that, well, it's promoted in society by one party and that's the Democratic Party. They say, let's, you know, they don't stand for anything. So they'll fall for everything. You get what I'm saying? If you don't stand for beliefs, then like as a man, right? If you don't truly believe in anything, you have, you don't have any backbone you're going to be more feminine. You're going to be more you know, indecisive, can't make decisions. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, well, where you want to eat? Well, you know, where, I mean, where do you want to eat? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really get things right because you don't have any direction. Yeah. You don't have any beliefs. You don't have any structure. You're not grounded. Um, but those men that are grounded, they tend to, you know, no, I'm not doing that. Yes, I'm doing that. Uh, they tend to be more masculine. Make sense? Anyways, let's go. Who, who did we stop at with the question? Did everyone go? Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone did go. You was the last one I went. Hustleman, um, you didn't go yet. So what was the question again? Why are why can't women submit? So yeah, why do you think women can't submit nowadays? See, like like everybody said, I feel like it's all for, it's all for, it's all like it's all different reasons why. I guess. All right, so look, like I said, like it's all it's all different reasons why, but I feel like I feel like it's his thing. Not every man is what a woman being submissive to. So I feel like it all. Wait, you said not men. You said not men are worthy of. No, not every not every you know, not everyone is worthy of you know a woman being submissive to. Yeah. Oh, facts. Yeah, yeah. So facts. and then here's the thing. I, and then I feel like I feel like women don't put themselves. And environments and situations where they could be allowed to be submissive. Women just mess with, you know, anybody. They, 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 they ignore they, those red flags. Yeah, so they just okay. kind of, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's facts. That's facts. And that, th- these questions kind of correlate, too, if you ladies kind of see. So, like, the red flags that you ignore, they always come back to bite you in the butt. You know what I'm saying? Communication. That's what you ladies said. Um, the tattoos. Um, <laughs> uh, what you say? 
the hide in the phone. The hide in the phone. You know what I'm saying? So all those red flags, and it could be multiple other red flags too, right? Um, they tend to come back and bite you in a butt. Um, but this is a good question. I truly believe women can't submit uh, nowadays. Pretty much I agree with what everyone said. Um, it's not really much input I could give, but I'll say this, right? So I'll say that women need to feel wanted and men need to feel needed, right? So since women want to feel wanted, like they, they need to feel wanted, right? Um, how can she really feel wanted if the dude is inadequate, right? So a low value guy with a not a, with not a lot of options, um, no one wants him anyway. But if he wants you, then your want level of being with that low value dude, it's going to be like here. Yeah, you know, he's, yeah, I mean, he's, he's slacking off, but you know, he, he's, he makes me feel the vibe. The vibe is right. It's all about the vibes. You know what I mean? It's cool. Maybe he smokes, maybe he drinks, and maybe it's a good time. Like the vibes is all there, but he's inadequate in a whole lot of other ways. So then it's just like his value isn't as high. Like he's not doing out there really giving you that security, right? Like other females aren't really attracted to him like that. So then if other females don't want him, then the you're since you're not really going to feel wanted like that. If you're with a higher value man and a lot of females want him, but he chooses you over all those other women, guess what? Your want level goes all the way up here. So this is when I say that women want to feel, women need to feel wanted. You feel what I'm saying? And they need, and the only, and the only way they really feel wanted is by being with a man of value. It doesn't even have to be real. You know, it doesn't even have to be a millionaire, but you just have to be a man of value, right? And men need to feel needed. So I'm going to correlate all of this. So if you a boss, babe, you independent, and you out there doing your own thing, well, how can we really feel needed if you already got everything on your own? You make, you make sense? So those boss babe women, they normally tend, they, men normally really don't wipe those females up because they, they really don't give the man what he needs and he needs to feel needed, right? We want to be the superhero in your life. So, <laughs> so uh, you want a loser? No, not a loser. What do you mean? Good, like, oh, good thing, good. Think yeah, about that, right? Like, <laughs> so, so, uh, is a do you think attraction is symmetrical? What do you mean? Do you think what you're attracted to in a man that the man is attracted to those same traits? No, 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 you? not at all. Completely different. But I think if so, you're a man that brings a lot to the table, you want a woman that brings something to the table too. So, so you're think not about scared this. by that. So then that means that you think that attraction is symmetrical, right? No, I don't. You do. Think so you. I'll explain it to you, right? So you correlated a woman not having a lot in for her own meaning like maybe financials you know maybe not having businesses maybe not you know taking care of business like that and being a boss babe you said that those women that don't have it are losers it's your mental no it shows your mental to a man that woman isn't a loser because attraction isn't symmetrical men we don't look for security value security value is providing protecting and financials. It all comes with financials. Your ambitions. You get what I'm saying? Okay. And I, I do. So look, let me finish, right? So since those, since all those traits come with security value and men don't look for that, we look for beauty and we look for submitting. So all of that other stuff that those independent boss babes, you out there getting a the bag, you got all this motivation and ambition to become something in life. Yeah, that's great for you. Cause when we're in a relationship anyway, your money is your money and my money is your money anyway. So men, we don't care about security value. We care about replication value. Are you feminine? Are you young? Are you submissive? Because then that's a future. A girl that's independent and have all of these security values that's doing a whole lot that's out there uh, being a go-getter, which is cool. I'm not saying don't be a go-getter. I got a daughter. So yeah, you know, I want my daughter to do things in life and to be self-sufficient but I don't want her to be independent because normally when women claim independent, but well, who are you independent from? We don't hear men running around saying that we're independent. So when women claim that they're independent, they're saying it because they're independent of a man and we want to feel needed. No. Make sense? So how can we feel needed if you're independent? 
But that's not saying, like, okay. but don't you want, okay, you want to have kids with this woman. You don't want her to have a good brain that she can make money. She knows how to manage her money. She knows how to take care of, like, you don't, that's not, you don't think that that has anything to do with a woman? You don't think that that has, what so, you mean? Can I try to explain, like, in a different perspective? Yes. Okay, so Faith. look. Um, I would say, look, I get what you're saying for the simple fact that we've talked about this. And it's like, just say that a man meets a woman, right? She travels state to state, been to Dubai, been to Jamaica, been to Miami. It's like a man wants to feel like I can do this for her. But it's like, if you've done everything, what can I do for you? You know, so I feel like a man feels like that. Like he wants to open her up to new things. That way he can feel a value as a man. And I understand that. Yeah. So, ladies, I'll just say this, right? Um, the reason why you said the woman is a loser in your eyes, but in all men's eyes, those girls are winners because all the men that you want, cause think about it, right? You want a masculine male. And you said that the guy that you're with now, he's inadequate. He's lacking some of that masculinity, right? So I'm telling you that I know he's lacking masculinity, I already knew that. I said it in the beginning of the podcast. And you was like, no. But then we came back and we figured out what I said was true. Because there's only things is black and white. Either he's inadequate or, uh, he, he, you know what I mean? He, it's just, he ain't that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's, he's inadequate or you is just, or he doesn't like you. Or like he's not taking you seriously. Because that's the only way it goes. Because the inadequate guys, that means that you're not taking him seriously. And that's what it seems like. So... I say all of that to say this. Attraction isn't symmetrical. Just because you want those traits in a guy for him to be a go-getter and ambitious, we look for the opposite traits. Not only that, right? It's like, think about it, right? All human beings have masculinity, have, have masculinity and femininity. It's gender neutral. <laughs> That's one thing I'll say. Females can be very masculine and males can be very feminine. I think we both... It, you know, came to a conclusion with that, right? So since females, um, since men can be, you know, masculine and feminine, right? Um, but you're attracted to, everyone's attracted to the masculine male. So what does it, what is masculinity? Masculinity is a type personality. It's assertiveness, it's dominance. Um, it's uh, decisive instead of indecisive. It's all of these traits that make you masculine, that you have a frame about yourself, meaning that you're just not going to fall for anything. You get what I'm saying? So a man, if he's masculine, he normally wants someone very feminine because we attract, we, we want our opposites, you know, uh, opposites just attract, right? So since I already knew, because when you came, you started speaking, I knew, and you talked about you got your own business, I knew you were more on a masculine type. So I already knew that your guy would have to be very, very masculine. But then once you said that it was complicated, I knew that you wasn't really claiming that nigga. So I knew that you led the relationship. So I know that he's very feminine. You feel what I'm saying? So like, I know these things just off the few questions and I'm kind of like a Jedi with this, but <laughs> no, I really am not to toot my own horn. Cause I've been, I've talked to how many girls? Probably like a hundred by now. I mean, he, he, he not feminine though. So no, I'm, I mean, yeah, he, he, I'm, like... sure, I'm sure a nigga push him in a club. He going to beat a nigga up. I'm sure he got those other protective traits. But you heard all the traits I mentioned, they had nothing to do with strength. Yeah. They yeah, had everything to do with competence. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So a man being competent, that's that masculinity. That's that internal yeah. masculinity yeah. that woman yearn for. Um, but yeah, I'll land my plane there. Um, anybody? I was going for a minute. <laughs> okay. Nothing. <laughs> uh, I'll leave it here before I get into the next question. Because we was rocking. I like everyone's energy with that one. I think everyone was getting into that one. Uh, do you ladies have any questions that you want to ask? Or, or Hustle Man, you got any questions? To the panel. It could be anything now, ladies. Come on, think. Let's get it. I, I want to ask this one question. I was going to say, you know, what I have my opinion there. So, yeah. I, I just want to know, like, what do y'all think the difference is between a man and a woman cheating? Cheating? Ooh. Yeah, what do y'all think? Like, I'm not even like, like, listen, like, Ooh. if it's different, then how? Okay, let's, good question. Let's start. We're going to do it collectively. We started with you, Erica, right? We did start with you. Uh -huh. So we're going to start over here. 
What's your name again? Layla. Layla? Mm. I got a cousin named Layla, so I'm, I'm going <laughs> to try to... Re- you guys look differently, but I'm going to try to remember. <laughs> Layla. Okay. I got it. I think I can remember yours. Yours is gone. Mine's is gone. I, I mean your name. No, no. Dala. Wait. Your name? Katie. Kate. Oh, I can remember that. Katie. Yeah, Katie is... You kind of look like a Katie, too. I can always <laughs> remember the people, what they look like. Their name is Erica. You look like Erica Katie. You definitely look like a Katie now. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, Dolly. Lola. No. I <laughs> am Yo. Crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I got that laughing. I'm so good. I was serious. I wasn't joking. I wasn't joking. So, uh, Layla. Yeah. Hustle man's question. Do you think it's different when a man or woman cheats or do you think it's the same? And why? Um, I feel like it depends on the situation. Like where the, cause like, Let, let's, let's go with cheating all the way. So I like feel intercourse. like, I feel like, I feel like, yes, it's the same, but I feel like that because people try to say like, Oh, for a female to cheat, you know, she had to really like the person. <laughs> and I get that some of that is true, but at the same time with today, I don't know, like with today, that that's not necessarily true. Like a female doesn't have to, you know, like the guy for her to go sleep with him. She could be so mad at her man for cheating that she's like, you know what, I'm just going to go give myself to someone else and not even like the man. And then for a man as well. So you're saying that women, uh, when they do revenge cheating... Um, you say that, so the women that do revenge cheating, mm. those are the times when they can not like the man. No, I'm just saying like, all right, what I'm saying is some yeah. people say like, basically it's it, for a female to cheat. That means that she doesn't want the man anymore. She been over him. Oh, and that, that she, she doesn't want her current man. Yeah. And that she okay. already, you know, has feelings for the next man. So they try to say like, it's worse when a female cheats because mm-hmm. that means she actually built a bond with the man. That's not necessarily true. And also, How isn't it? Because, like true. I said, Explain. a female could get mad and she's like, you know what? Like, okay, for, so you didn't sit, see, see, I'm, I'm listening to you. No, I get what you're saying. No, but you guys are, you're going off emotions. No, 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 I'm, no, talking I'm listening about, to exactly what you said. Okay, so, all right, so obviously, we're time. <laughs> okay, so I'm saying, like, all right, some people will say, like, it's worse when a female cheats and it's not the same as a man because a man is just cheating because you know he's a man and he's a man. he like what he's no seen and yeah, yeah whatever and then and when a girl does you're it you're saying that a woman can still cheat like that too yeah i'm saying they can okay now <laughs> yeah. now okay i got that mm-hmm. i'm asking you how how yes i was trying to tell you okay now i'm listening <laughs> go ahead how because like a man cheats, she finds out her man cheating on her. Okay, so you're still just, using the revenge tactic is what yeah, I said like before. Yeah, like a revenge thing. So, so here's what I'm saying. My question is, right? So since you're using the revenge tactic, mm-hmm. a woman cheating out of revenge, right? You saying that she won't... She's, you're saying that she's cheating out of revenge so she won't like the dude that she's cheating with because it's only to get revenge. So the dude that she's stepping out of the relationship with, the dude that she chooses, right? Mm-hmm. Like, okay, my nigga cheated, but okay, all right. You, Byron, uh, <laughs> I'm going to choose you to get back at this nigga. You saying Byron, the nigga that she chose, she's not going to have any emotional ties with. I'm not saying she's not going to, but I'm just saying like, if it happens off of her being mad at her man, it's not because she loved Byron. Okay, so now let's break it all down because we because this is where we got to get to. Because you speak, so I like to say this right, and mm-hmm. you ladies could um, take this note as well. Another mental note. Remember, I said it's only black and white. You know, gray area is <laughs> only things that you don't understand. Mm-hmm. Now, here's another thing. Take this note. Uh, manipulation is when you focus on effects and not the cause. So you can manipulate yourself. By focusing on the effects or someone else can manipulate you too by focusing on the effects and not going to the root, the cause of it. Right. So that's the only way manipulation happens. And right now we've all noticed and we'll get to it that you manipulated yourself or someone else manipulated you too. So I'm going to help you out. Right. Oh, no, no, so, no, no. I wasn't speaking per me, my life personally. No, I'm no, no, saying, no, no. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm not saying that you got you did revenge cheating. I'm not speaking about you. I'm speaking about the, your My understanding, answer, yeah. your mindset, right? So a woman cheating, just the fact that she has to cheat, let's stick with your scenario, is revenge. 
When, remember, I was very careful with my words. And if you listen to, she has to choose. She has choice. The guy that she chooses to have sex with and have revenge sex with, right? She has that choice because women hold the key to sex. And we all know that women have more options than guys. We know that you got more options than me, than the opposite sex. Because your DMs be flooded when you post that little thirst trap. My DMs don't. Mm -hmm. But still, I got a whole lot of more followers and stuff than you do, right? But you still garner more male attention than I garner female attention, right? So since women garner more attention, stay with me here. Don't I don't want to lose you, ladies. Mm -hmm. Please listen. Since you garner more attention, then that means that you have the choice to choose the person that you want to sleep with because you hold the key to sex, right? So that means that uh, the truthful thing is if we go out to the club tonight, all you ladies can have sex with any guy you want in the club. Uh, me, like I would say, you know, maybe one guy wouldn't do it. So maybe, guys two of easy. Them, maybe two That's of them wouldn't do it. This. Um, not guys are easy. <laughs> guys are only as faithful as their options. Guys move with their options. But that's so, disgusting. So pay attention, right? So since women have the power of that key of sex, they get to choose who they want to sleep with. So you got your man at home, right? Say, let's use your scenario. You got your man, but you're going to get revenge sex. So you had Byron, you had Kyle, you had Kendall, you had John, you had all these options. These was guys in your DMs. These was guys maybe that hit at you at the gas station, guys that hit, hit at you at Walmart. We know that you females get attention. So that means that you have choice. So that means that out of all those guys that hit on you, that you could have had sex with, you chose Byron. Guess what that means? You chose that nigga. So you must have built up some emotional some emotional uh, to a capacity, some emotional ties to Byron because out of all the other dudes, you chose that nigga to sleep with, right? So guess what? We all know that females have to come to to some type of feeling the vibe, to some type of, you know, uh, emotional tie to spread your legs open and allow another nigga to dominate you. You won't have sex with no one you don't like. You won't have sex with someone you hate, especially if you've never been with them before. It just won't happen. So my argument to this is, right, because you have to go to the root of it because manipulation was happening how you were thinking. So when you go to the root of it, even if it's out of revenge or even if it's out of, you know, any type of cheating that a woman does, she likes that guy to a degree. It may not to be a huge degree. She may not be in love with him or like, oh my gosh, he's my soulmate. But no, she liked him enough to out of she she disqualified all those other dudes and qualified Byron to allow her in to slide in between the soul gaps. Make sense? So that means that in guys is differently. We don't have the key to sex, so we shoot darts. And whichever one sticks, that's the one we hit. So it's no emotional ties. It's like, oh, this one's stuck? Yeah, I'm going to get this pussy. It's much different when a guy cheats. I lay my plane. Make sense? How you have to go to the root of it? Because the root of it is, you see how I broke it all down to a girl disqualifying her other options to qualify that one option, even though she even wants to get revenge sex? Even out of the revenge sex, the guy that she chose, he still qualified for her. Okay, but how don't men have options? I'm sorry, like I just sex. Okay, we all right, cool. I'm, so I mean, yeah, I'm going off of like yeah, uh, what right, I cool. see. So, uh, I don't. Let's say I'm talking to all you ladies, right? Mm -hmm. For quick scenario, I'm talking to all of you. You don't know each other. Talking to Erica, no DM and her. Cool. We link up. We chill. Stuff like that. Talk to Katie. Boom. We chill. Boom, boom, boom. It's fine. Talk to uh. Tally. Oh, Dolly. Dal you know what? Dolly. Uh, she not, she hard to link. She ain't, she, is she hard to, you know what I mean? I can't link up with her. She just be texting all the time. I'm like, dang, all right, well, this is really not an option. These two, Erica and Katie, I linked up with them once. Yeah, it could be more of an option. Chill with you. It's like, you know what I mean? It was kind of like on, you brung your friends, I brung my friends. And it was just like, you know what I'm saying? But that's what it is, right? And all of you ladies show interest in me and I show interest in y'all. Um, Think about that, right? I don't have the key to sex. I want to have sex with you, but I can't be like, you know, hey, Erica, our date was cool. You want to come back to my crib and, you know, let's, let me clap them cheeks. You're going to be like, nigga, what? Like, no, I, you're not getting my box. Katie, if I'm like, you know, we went on that one date. I'm like, yo, Katie, listen, um, you drove all the way out here from Massachusetts. You ain't trying to drive home with no date. Let me handle this for you real quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me 
break you off. You're going to be like, oh, well, you're cool, but not that cool, coolie. You feel what I'm saying? Daya, she's just like, nah, nigga, we ain't Lincoln right now. <laughs> and you just like, Wait. I look at you more as a homie. Like, you was with my friends. I was with your friends. It's hard for niggas to get boxes, what I'm saying. Like, it's hard for niggas to get boxes because we don't hold the key to box. So that means that the stuff that we got to do to get you, even a nigga that was uh, the revenge sex guy, Byron, that you did revenge sex with, not you, just the scenario, that mm. you chose to do revenge sex with, that nigga was playing friend zone for a minute, like waiting to start. Like, okay, did he mess up yet? Oh, he finally cheated. I'm here. Oh, oh he cheated on you, girl. You, that nigga, he no good. He no good. I told you he was going to cheat on you, Lala. I mean, uh, what's your yeah, name again? Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to make sure that's not my phone. because Ringing? Baby, no, the pink one. Pink one? No, the pink one, Gucci. Okay. Uh, mommy on the phone. Phone? Uh-huh. Who's ma? Is that? It's a, it's a ma? Yeah, it's your mom. Oh, it's good. She good. You don't want... <laughs> nah, well, let's keep the podcast going. Yeah, let's keep the podcast going. You good? Let's go. You good? That's why you put the phones over there. It's all good. It's on silent, though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Let it rock. Um. So, do you understand what I'm saying? That when you go to the root of it, the the, the root that the woman takes to cheat is differently than the root that the man takes to cheat. That's what I'm saying. So then, it's not. It can't be the same. It has to be different because the roots that the routes that we take is just different routes. Do, do some of y'all understand this? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not having a hard time. We're just, we all have our own, you know. Op- opinion. Yeah, so I can't, I'm not going to keep going back and forth. Well, well, no, I want you to. No. I want you. No, no, no. I want you because here's the thing, right? Um, I want you to, it's called no fugazi. Speak your mind, mm. right? Because this is the only way we come to truth. Because there's no my truth. There's only one truth, right? And this platform, the reason why I made this podcast, so people can publicly speak and we could come to a truth on certain topics. You get what I'm saying? So my argument, I'm fair to say that I think my argument was stronger than yours because I went to the root and I showed that it's two different routes that the woman, men and women take. Now, do you have a better argument than what I have? I probably do, but I don't want to. Go do ahead, it. say it. If no. you do, go ahead. Bring <laughs> I it do, up. but I don't want to do it because it's somebody else could go. <laughs> okay, so I think you yeah. don't have a better argument. Okay. Okay. Cool. I, I can speak on it. Uh, I, I know you're gonna kill it, <laughs> so let them go real quick. And I'm not gonna speak with Nago. I'm gonna let you. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all two hold it from here. I just had to get <laughs> on that. Um, Thalia, Thal, Thala. 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 Thala is crazy. Uh, what was the question again? I got lost. Uh, it was Hustle Man's question. Hustle Man said, uh, you know, cheating, do you think oh. is the same or is it different between men and women? No, it's the same. Why? Um, no, well, yeah, and no, but it's the same. Um, can you just thank you? <laughs> okay, Um, I just feel like it's the same because if I cheat on my man, which... I'm not a cheater, but I'm just saying. Okay, yeah. If I cheat on my man, and I just decided to just go and cheat with somebody, I could pick, like, not that I could pick whoever I want, but, like, if I go outside, I'd be like, fuck it, I'm gonna just go cheat today. Like, I could still, I could not care about him and just come back home and be like, He's Okay, obsessed. so like, let I'm me ask you a son. question. Um, So you could say you could cheat and just not care. Yes. Right? So that means that... um. Me and you, we could go into the bathroom right now. You'll let me clap them cheeks up because you have no, no, no care. No, no, I'm not to saying. Even get to I'm that not level. saying. You know what I'm me. saying? You, once again, what I did with her, you're going. You're starting with the effect. I'm going with the cause, the root of it. So what it takes for me to get the box or any other guy to get the box. That's what I'm talking about. So it takes something to garner that. It could just be as simple as your looks. I have friends. Listen. Okay. Question I, for you. No, no, no. Go ahead. I have friends, okay? I don't went to the club with my friends, and one of my friends would literally be like, he's cute. Um, the boy come up to him, let me come up to her and be like, talk for like two seconds, like literally two seconds. Yeah. They're going home with each she other. They're going home with each other already. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, you still talking to him the next day? No, it was just one night. I just don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Okay. So, she didn't so, right? care. And, and, um, yeah, this that scenario you seen you witnessed that right? Yes, I did. That same friend, 
How many other guys tried to talk to her that night? A few. Thank you. What I was saying with her. Booyah. Y'all see where I'm going with this, right? I think some of you are smart with this. So look, right? She had other options. She mm-hmm. disqualified those other options, but the guy that she chose that qualified for her, he was Maybe he was charming. Maybe he was charismatic with his approach. Maybe he smelled better than those other guys. Maybe mm-hmm. his voice was a little deeper, a little bit more masculine, a little bit more, you know, you know, straightforward or, you know, funny. He did. He had something better than those other guys. Right. So she chose because now we're just talking about sex because because she doesn't have a man. She right. No, she was just having sex. So wait, no, she did. She did. Oh, she did have a man. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's oh, it correlates even <laughs> I was perfect. Like, wait. It correlates even perfect. So now she got a man at home. The other guys in the club couldn't get a box. But when uh, Kev came up and he and she's saying Kev like, oh, this nigga <laughs> tall. Oh, he got nice teeth. He got this. He qualifies for it. He qualifies enough for me to cheat on my man with. So that means that. Guess what I'm saying? That's that emotional threshold that she took. Right. Mm-hmm. Because the guy had to qualify if men had as many options in the key to sex, how women have it, guess how it would be. You know, when your friend disqualified those guys and chose one, men would have been like, we would chose all of them. No. No, no, no baby girl, we would have chose all of them. <laughs> how can you, you. Yeah. How, yeah. But, but how can you choose all of them in one night? We could, we would have scheduled them. Time. They they time. Time. Okay, yeah. you don't think a girl but would do that too? No, no, listen, if we hold the key, yeah. a girl not a girl doing would do that. that though. No girl ever had sex with every guy that ever ever yeah. approached her. Yeah. It no, never no. happened on the face of this planet. No. It will never happen. But if the guy had the key to sex, how women have it, we would. We would have sex with every girl that approaches, besides the obese ones and the bad breath ones. And then once we hit a lot, we'll probably be more picky and we'll start to choose like, all right, I don't want you because I had girls like you already. But you get what I'm saying, Mm -hmm. right? So you still focus on the effects, go to the root of it. She still, that guy that she chose still qualified for her, meaning that he met an emotional threshold for her. So it's more emotion. She's more emotionally stimulated. If it happened on a guy, and he wouldn't give a freak at all about the girl. But to the next. What about you, Katie? Do you I, think it's the same? I think it's different. I okay, think, here we uh, go. All right, finally, you got a different. I one. definitely think it takes women a lot more to decide they're going to cheat in a relationship. Okay. Especially because, well, I think women usually have, have like mentally checked out of a relationship, like before they break up with someone. So, like, women usually, before they break up with someone, I think, in my personal opinion, have already, like, mentally checked out of the relationship, and then it just takes some time before they decide to physically leave the relationship. So, I think during that period is probably when, if a woman's going to cheat, would be when it happens, because they've thought about it, they've already mentally removed themselves from the Mm -hmm. situation, so they might feel more comfortable cheating, because they're like, well, I know I'm going to move on from this relationship, like, I'm not invested in him anymore, and you might then start seeing somebody else or something like that. But I would agree I'm not going to sleep with someone that I don't have, like, some type of connection. Whether it's a friend connection, like, a casual flirty connection. Yeah. Like, I have to know you to, like, some degree. And, and, and even if, I'll take it a step further. Even if the guy is very attractive, if he says the wrong thing, disqualified. Yeah, if like his breath a little stinky disqualified so even the guys that qualify for you they still can't mess up because it's gonna be like your box gonna dry up you know what i'm saying so it is is much harder than you think ladies that's why cheating versus a man and woman is totally different because we know that the guy that uh that girl cheated on her man with he ain't mess up at all (laughs) and she he's he's packing in every area that her man is lacking in so that's what i'm saying what about you? What's your thoughts on it? I think it's different. I mean, I think cheating is cheating at the end of the day. Right, I let me think. Help you out just a little bit because it's far back. Actually, move over this way, Morgan. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think cheating is cheating at the end of the day because I think when you're with somebody, you owe them loyalty, so it just is what it is. Yeah. But yeah, men men cheat differently than women cheat. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, I think it takes a woman a lot more to cheat. I think a woman, when she does cheat, it's gonna take. Something, but also at the same time today, I don't know. Bitches is whores. 
So listen, I don't know. They're, I, I've seen it. I've seen it. They are out fucking. So <laughs> listen, listen, before, yeah, I would say, yeah, you would need emotions and all that. But nowadays, I don't know. Bitches is crazy. So yeah. they, they, they do be out fucking men as well. So I don't know. But I do think cheating for men, a man and woman, I think is different. Like I think a man, yeah, yeah. you go fuck and he just fucked. He probably will never think of that bitch ever again. A woman, she probably will think of that dude multiple times. You feel me? And she probably, like, yeah, there's more emotions to it and everything. So, yeah, I definitely agree. It's yeah. different. It's very different. Yeah, you made a good point. Yeah, the girls are a lot more promiscuous. Yeah. Um, but uh, how you tend to view it now, but whores have, it was whores in a Bible. So, I mean, whores been around since the beginning of time. There's been females slanging poon since, you know, the beginning of it all. Uh, Mary Magdalene was trying to smash Jesus. But it all goes you know back in saying? with that so, independent, independent so, uh, stuff. So it's different now. Yeah, but, you know, what... Yeah. Women look at things differently now. Uh, they look at things differently, but what I'm saying is that... I, I agree with everything you said, but within that point that females are more promiscuous now, you could say in, in a certain sense, but really they've always been promiscuous because you hold the key. So if you hold the key to sex and, you know, you maybe grew up without two parents and your father was feminine or you grew up with a single mom and, or who knows what it was, or you, mm -hmm. you had some rough edges. Maybe you was molested. Maybe something happened or maybe you didn't, uh, you know, you didn't garner a whole lot of attention. Um, you, you were, you j just, and wasn't self-fulfilled. Then you tend to just be a little bit more promiscuous with your sexuality and I mean, niggas like hoes. Yeah. So I and guess it's okay. I mean, hoes win too because niggas get what they want. Yeah, they don't really get what they want, but kind of. Uh, but niggas don't wife hoes. They smash them, but don't wife them. Um, I'll let you go first, Faith. And then Hustle Man, you could wrap it up since it was your question. Um, I feel like it's definitely different. Yeah. Um, I feel like women do it more like they have to take time out of their day to do it like just say if the woman is didn't shave she's gonna shave before she does that if she doesn't have her nails painted or something she's gonna do that if she doesn't have lip gloss on she's gonna do that she, mm -hmm. she doesn't have her hair done she's gonna kind of take her time out the day to do that for the for to cheat, you yeah, know, so like saying females like, so if a, get ready for it. Yeah, so and a funny. nigga he'll when come a from a basketball game and hop in some poon. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So I feel like it's just it's different in a lot of it's different in a lot of like I don't know. It's just different. I feel. Okay. Cool. Hustle man. Um, it was your question. Good question. Um, and you can wrap it up with. All right. Uh, uh, so obviously it's different, but it's like this. It's like this. When a female cheats, she has to actually like the guy because a female can kind of get any guy she wants. Like when I feel like I feel like when a man cheat, he doesn't get the girl that he actually wants. He gets the one who's available, and it's just like, ah, right, she's available. I'm gonna take it. Like he's not gonna just leave it. So it's like, right. all right, it's different. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like you know, women since women hold the key to sex. <clears throat> Uh, they have that power so they could choose men. We don't have that power, so we get we we take what we could get. Um, so yeah, that's facts. Not only that, sex for a woman is the most ultimate form of submission. There's many forms of submission. You could cook for your guy, you could make your nigga a sandwich, like you say, you make your nigga a sandwich, you could rub his back. Hustle man back, rub his feet, you know what I mean? He out there hustling all the time, the nigga feet probably a little so you go there's multiple ways you could, you know, submit to your man. Um, but sex is the most ultimate form of submission because you're allowing the dude inside you and to smack and then you think about it. Normally when you submit to a guy, like when you submit to a nigga, think about it goes, right? So when a nigga is texting you, ladies, right? And maybe y'all talk about sex in a text message, maybe you don't. But if you are talking about sex, yeah, you could be, you know, maybe a little more modest in the, in the sexual stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't do this. I don't do that. But once he got you bent over and smacking it and pulling your hair, you're doing everything. It's not you not doing. He putting your thumb in your booty hole. That never happened before. You ain't even let your nigga, you ain't even let your man put his thumb in your booty hole. But now the nigga you cheated on you with, he, he all in there. He doing all the things. He's picking you up on the wall, throwing you around. 
like girls when they cheat, the, if it's a dominant nigga and a masculine nigga that they get, that they're cheating on, it's over for that nigga because he done thrashed that out. You feel what I'm saying? It's because you submitted to that man. Once you submit, it's all. It's the most ultimate form. So it's like when a woman cheats, you can't take that woman back. So niggas that watch this, you're female, but you don't take her back. She's trash. It's treason. It's espionage. I'll, I'll end it from there. Um, so Ram. Uh, y'all still think it's the same? <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's no fugazi. Did we change your mind a little bit? Some let's stuff. let's start with you. And some stuff, yeah, just a little bit. Okay, what about you? Same. Just some stuff. Mm. Okay, but you still like, man. If this nigga cheat on me, I still think it's the same if I cheat on him. I'm not a cheater, but I just. It's- Put the mic close to you because you speak Sorry. and you whisper. I'm not a cheater, but I just feel like in certain aspects it'd be the same. Just certain ones. I'm not saying all yeah. the time it's it's different or all the time it's the same, but just, you know, sometimes okay. it's all is it is sometimes it's the same. All right, all right, all right, cool. Um we're gonna go with more questions from the panel. Uh anyone thinking any questions y'all got? I'll give you a minute. Anyone ask a question? Go ahead. You got one, Faith? I think I have a question. Go ahead. Um, just say that you're married to a man 10, 15 years and you find out he's cheating on you or like he cheated. What are you going to do? Mm. That's the scenario. Okay. Um, mm. Let's go around the panel. Uh, did we start with you? No, we started with her. Let's start with uh, uh, Dolly. Dolly. Dali, if you're in a relationship 10 to 15 years and you found out that your man cheated, are you going to stay or are you going to leave? And you have kids. Like, and you got kids. You got, a, you got got everything with them. What you going to do? Is it like it's first time? First time you finding out, yeah. First time you finding out. But he probably had Marissa, Caitlin, mm-hmm. and Oh, but... I needed like a scenario if he did it multiple times I'm not staying so like I feel like there's a difference between in a marriage I feel like there's a difference of cheating and an affair right and an affair is like constantly seeing that woman he's spend, now that uh, is an not an affair is like he's spending right, resources right. That, on now that is exactly time and money yeah that right. is so she's separating so much that different she's talking than about cheating. he just clapping cheeks out there uh-huh. so the scenario her, her question is uh, you with a guy 10 to 15 years marriage got family got kids got a house you find out that he was cheating with a girl <clears throat> or multiple girls. Let's just say one of three girls you found out. Okay. You staying or are you leaving? Um, fifteen years. Damn, I'm probably I'm probably staying. Probably staying. Okay, I'm, I'm probably staying. All right, word. What about you, Katie? I feel like that's a really hard hypothetical to answer. I don't know if I would know what to do until I was like in. The- I feel like it's hard to judge people in those situations. Like, oh, I would True. do this, I would do that. But until you're in that exact situation, True. to be like, know what I would do, I don't, I don't really know. Okay, if you had to give an answer, just stay in or leave and choose a one. Mm. I, I'm, I've never been cheated on, so I don't really know what it feels like that I know of. So I'm not really sure what it feels like so i don't know how it would feel if i found that we've well, never been cheated on that i that know of. yeah that i know of. so i don't know what the like emotion feels like and after 15 years of a trail i don't know okay so um, staying or leaving you can move the mic a little closer to your face too uh i i, don't, I really honestly have no idea <laughs> just choose one multiple choice a or b Stay A, leave B. Or cheat back. No, I wouldn't cheat back. <laughs> I mean, See, I would, say, cheat back I C, revenge, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't even. revenge cheat. I guess I might temporarily stay for the time. See if okay. we talk stay. it out. You I don't could know. Go and stay. All right. What about you, Erica? See, that's why it's important to be independent and have your own shit because you could get up and leave when something like that happens because I've seen plenty of situations well, where bitches stay with cheaters because they don't have their own and they have to stay because he takes care of them. So I will never be in that situation. I will be, I will leave. That's craziest. I would never stay cheating in an affair. Listen, there can be all types of differences. Did you put your dick in something else? 
okay, that's a wrap for you, buddy. That's it. Like, that's it. If you loyal to a person, then you loyal to a person. If you're okay with that, then discuss that and make that a thing. Then listen, you could go fuck bitches and I'm going to stay with you. That's cool. All right, but then that's if not cheating no more. That, yeah. So, see, like, but for me, nah, that you done. <laughs> that's yeah. it. Yeah, Let you done. Let me ask you a question, Erica. Yeah. Do you think a man could love his girl and still cheat? Yeah. Okay. Because so, men... Yeah. My question is, right? You say you're leaving. Mm -hmm. So if you know that if your guy cheats, he truly still loves you and the love that he has for you didn't wither or shake. It's as strong as if it's ever been. But he just went out there and he clapped Thalia. Or Thalia. Uh-huh. He should have... Thalia. <laughs> he should have discussed that with me first. Okay, look, look. So I'm saying that, right? So if he can still love you the same... And he went out there and he cheated. I'm not saying that is right. But I don't believe right. you now. I don't, I don't condone cheating. But I'm saying that if he can... But you, well, you do believe, because it is a fact, you do believe that a man can still love someone and cheat. Yeah. So that's a belief. So take that belief, right? And since he can, since he's capable of still loving you and cheating, then besides the act of him clapping cheeks, his heart is still at home. So, so my question for you is, why would you leave that guy if his heart is still with you? If his heart was at home, he would understand that the woman that he has at home is not okay with that. So he would know that, you know, if, if I was a woman that was going to be okay with that, if you still love me at the end of the day and whatever, come let me know. Yo, I'm, I'm finna go fuck. So, and then I can decide, do I want to take you back? Do I want to fuck you tonight after you fuck someone else or no? That's crazy to me. That's disloyal. That's well, lying. I don't believe you when you go into the store now. Like, it's, it, it, to a woman, it's that emotional well, it's side comes out. Everything. It's a so, whole so bunch of other shit. Like, nah. It's just, as far as what we feel versus men and women cheating, it's similar, but the man feel is much, much, much stronger. Um, but I would say uh, <laughs> another question here for you, right? Because I'm trying to just want you mm -hmm. to elaborate more. Um, so since the man can truly love the woman and still cheat with the girl, um, and you're saying that, you know, whatever, I'm still going to leave him. I don't care if he still loves me the same. What you did is, um, is unacceptable to me. So you'll rather risk your feelings, right? You'll rather make a permanent decision yep. over a temporary feeling. Yep. He should have made so, he made a permanent decision, not me. Well, I'm reacting well, well, off no, what you no. did. His permanent, <laughs> his permanent de his permanent decision in feeling is still loving you. You're not doing it correctly. <laughs> it never changed. You're not doing so, it correctly. So you're the no no look. You're mm -hmm. the only one that's literally making a permanent decision over temporary feelings. That's fine. This nigga not making nothing permanent because he's still permanent with you. Yep. And spiritually, physically, yep. everything loving and you. And you're finna be. And I'm finna leave now. Okay, but yep. my question to you is this, right? Would you risk? Yup. Risk what? <laughs> no, would you I'm risk the being reward. a... I'm not risking nothing. Oh, we'll get into that. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> I got a question for that. <laughs> We're getting all in and get it. Let me write this down mm. before I respond. Uh, uh, hold up. <laughs> Ooh, two times. Oh, more napkins? Yo, <laughs> nap lean. Okay, bet. We're gonna wrap it up soon. Lean napkins, bro. Me too. My, my puppy. Whole thing drop. <laughs> this nigga high as a kite back there. He said, I ain't a napkin boy. He said, I had to clean a spider at, at now. Part, he can get his own napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said, I had to kill a spider and get napkins. Nigga, I'm hooking you. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Um, all right. So, so you were going somewhere. Finish up. I'm sorry. You said that is all right. So, my question is this, right? You'll risk being a single mom, having your kids. Not live in a two-family household because of how you feel when that man still feels for you the same. And not only that, here's a statistic. Um, 95% of people in prison and I think it's about 90% of mass shootings all came from single mother households. So you'll risk, right? Because women are the nurturers and men are 
uh, the disciplinarians. I always say that a man uh, keeps his son out of jail and keeps his daughter off of the stripper pole. That's just what men do. We protect the family. So you'll risk having your kids grow up without that masculine energy around in that two family household and a, a higher likelihood for them to be a degenerate um, <laughs> all because of your temporary feeling. Listen, don't cheat on me, baby. Right, <laughs> That's cool. it. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I think a woman, I, listen, yeah, I'm not just because that right. no, but just it because we not together now doesn't mean that you. I'm gonna take these kids and run. No, you still be a dad. You still take care of your kids. You can still feel me, but we're not together no more. You made your choice. That's it. See, women that make it okay to cheat is the reason why these men feel like it's okay to cheat. But, I'm not. I'm, you know with me that I'm not having that. So you're not gonna do that here. If you do do it, and I find out, you know for a fact that I'm out. Yeah, I would say that. So, women don't. Listen. No woman makes it okay to cheat. But they um, no, but they do. No, 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 no. They don't make it okay. To, you got to think about it. It's no like to a man that's out there stepping out. He doesn't think that it's okay or not okay. What do you mean? But they, yeah, they do. No, because they you do. literally just said no. No, but, no, 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 no. Listen, nah, baby girl, that's crazy. They don't <laughs> think that it's okay or not okay. Sex to a man is like taking a piss. Like to explain uh -huh. it to you, ladies, right? You ever had to take a, a mean number two? Like you got to take a crazy doodle. Like you driving in your car and it's like at the edge of your butt. And you got to take a crazy doodle. And it's like you got to make the quickest turn and you want to hurry up and park it. You don't even park your car. You probably put that joint in neutral. Hop out, run in the bathroom and go do what you got to do. Right? It's like that urge. Men have that urge when it comes to sex, right? And when, we, when we're in a relationship with a woman, not all men, but a, a high... I don't say all men cheat, but... Most men cheat opportunistically. But anyways, uh, we're over here. Go ahead. Faith. Um, Cause it was your question. So I'll let you bring it in. Bring it home. Look, I'm not saying it's okay to cheat. That's not okay. Yeah. That's something that you have to discuss with your partner. Of course, who wants their partner to cheat on them? Nobody, you know, but if I'm in a situation where I'm married, I have kids, I'm with the person 15 years plus. You want me to just leave? Like, no, we built all these. We built all of this. Put, put us, we're in a nice house. Like, or even if it's a house, period. Like, you know, just a house. Like, we built this together. I'm not going to just get up and leave at the age of 30 and then so I can be alone. Yeah. Like, you know, like, of course, the father can still, he, he can still be in the picture, but it's not going to be the same as a family. Like, you know, so that's why I look at it like, I'm not saying it's okay. We talk about this all the time. We literally sit for four hours, three, four hours talking about going back and forth, communicating. Like, you know, I feel like communication is key. You know, that's why I understand a lot of things, you know. So it's like, I'm not saying it's okay to cheat. But I'm saying if I'm in that situation, it's like, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to just separate myself completely. You know, because it's like, I built all this with you. I'm not going to just, like, a woman needs a man. And that's simple. Yeah. Simple. If you can agree to disagree, a woman needs a man. A man needs a woman. Facts. Simple. We need each other. We're better exactly. together than apart. Exactly. I have a question for her. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so as a woman, like... Are you asking me? Yeah. Uh -huh. As a woman, um, you getting cheated on... You don't think that would mess up, like, you would question yourself. You would start wondering, like, was it me who did something wrong? Like, do you think you can go back as the same loving woman to that man, even though you you, you said, like, to yourself, okay, I forgive you. We, we got all these years in. But it's you're not going to have in the back of your mind, like, what made him cheat? Like, was it me? Like, you feel like you'll still be that great loving wife? I feel like it wouldn't be me. And I can stand so, on that. And, and it wouldn't be her. You know why? Because she understands male nature, right? So uh, it's just like men and females, we have to understand each other's nature. When you don't understand the nature of the person, then you will be, your emotions will be riled up because it'll be that gray area. Remember I said that gray area is things that you don't understand because you don't understand the nature. Mm -hmm. like, a, like a woman, right? For example, before I even get into men. So women are naturally hypergamous. That means that they either want to date across or above in social hierarchy statuses. They want the best man that they can find. They want quality over quantity, right? So 
say if me as a guy, if I just didn't understand that. And I'm like, man, all these girls, bro, they just, they just dubbing me. But like, I'm like taking a bus to work and like, I'm not really, I don't really have anything. I'm like, yo, I just keep on getting dubbed. And I, I start to like grow, have anger or emotions because these girls aren't like taking me seriously because I don't like understand what females nature is. Right. But when I understand what females nature is, I wouldn't be upset by them dubbing me. I would understand that. Oh, they dubbing me because I'm broke. I'm uh, lazy. I'm indecisive. When I'm texting them, I'm always like, you know, never really being direct and saying, hey, let's chill. I'm always like, oh, well, oh, too, too much jokes and too much laughter. I'm not b giving any direction in a relationship. So men that understand women, we tend to be cool with it. And uh, like, it's, it's not going to be like any emotions there when we don't get the woman because we understand like, oh, okay, she, I just maybe didn't qualify for something. Maybe, what you know, maybe it's my height. Maybe it's, I'm too short. Maybe it's something, but oh, well, it's on to the next. We know it's a numbers game, right? With females, with females, uh, well, actually, well, yeah, that's men. So with females, they don't understand men's nature because they think that, well, men and women are the same. Well, we're not the same. I could literally still love a girl and still have sex with many other girls. You get what I'm saying? So when you understand that, when you understand that women are born with their value and men have to create their value, then you tend to look at life in a more realistic standpoint and your emotions don't get the best of you. So that's Facts. why she wouldn't be Facts. upset because she know this nigga hustle man <coughs> out there hustling to get the bag. I'm not saying the nigga gonna cheat. I'm not putting nothing out there. But let's just say this nigga out there getting the bag. He doing it all. It's like she knows that that's a 1% nigga. If I lose him, the, op the chances of me getting another nigga... Uh, well, yeah, I could get another nigga to have sex with, but I can I get another nigga to really take me seriously? Exactly. So the probability is just lower. You get what I'm saying? So when you start to really understand the nature, you understand and you're not so emotionally riled up. If that makes sense. Right. I understand yeah. what you were saying. You understand what I was saying, right? I still believe, still though. No, yeah. I, we're not saying that cheating is okay. She has right, a question. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, it's not, not okay. <laughs> We're not. I'm. I'm not saying it's okay. Yeah. No. I get. I get what both of you guys are saying. Yeah. I just feel like, like you said, like um. Well, she said she wouldn't leave because. I'm sorry. What was her reason again? She said she wouldn't leave because she don't want to be alone in 15 years and everything they built. Yeah. But then also you gotta remember, like you guys are adding the kids. I just don't feel like sticking together for kids for one will ever save a relationship. That's a toxic home. Well, well I'm saying I'm I'm not saying. Well, not okay, a, I know, I know. Yeah, I'm well, not saying, only that. What are we put on this planet to do? We're here Man to recreate, procreate. All right, yeah. cool. So we got it there. We we're put on this planet because once again we can't. Manipulation happens when you focus on the effects mm -hmm. and you don't go to the root of it. So since we are put on this planet to procreate, when a man and woman meets, they procreate. They have a baby. Okay, boom. Now, as a marriage and a commitment and as a family, what are you there to do as parents? parent teach your kids protect, protect your them. kids yeah yep Everything. so now what's the best scenario of a kid to grow up in this world with both parents together i'm not, not gonna, apart i'm not gonna answer that so <laughs> since that's that is the best scenario it's statistics on this so since that's the best scenario on this uh nuclear families are the backbone of every great society that's why america is the greatest country because we have a nuclear family, the, the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s was all backed off nuclear family. You get what I'm saying? Black people, we all, uh, I think back in the uh, the 50s, uh, 50s and uh, 40s, and even 60s, um, most black households was two-family households. I think it was like 80% um, was two-family households of the black, of black people. Then after the 70s and after... Um, it started to go down and like, and it, now it's like 15% of the black population has two family households. That's why most black people are degenerates and in prison and, you know, uh, can't keep a job and can't get a job and just inadequate and very feminine. Like there's a lot of black people that's feminine is because they don't have their father around. And that comes with, because they're being raised by a single family. I'm talking about my own race is <laughs> because this podcast is called no Fugazi. It's because we've raised with single mothers. So, just to land my plane here, make sense? <laughs> all right, all right, whatever. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> any other questions? Uh, we gonna. Uh, I got one more question. 
we're gonna wrap up. We're gonna do last thoughts. All right. Um, before I get into that, does anyone have any questions on what we spoke about or anything else? No. All right. Is everyone very uncomfortable? <laughs> Great. That's how I wanted to be because y'all ain't say no fugazi in the beginning. Um, and it's about to get a little bit more uncomfortable because we're going with what she said about the prize. You said women are the prize. So I didn't say women are the prize. I said, you said we, I'm the prize. Oh, okay, that's now what I let's said. Get Not into all the women is the prize. Okay, now this is the question. Okay. We're going to start with you. Mm-hmm. Who do you think is the prize in a relationship? The man or the woman, generally speaking? The who's man. The, prize? the, the man? man? Why? Because whatever the man does, that dictates the relationship, that dictates the household, that dictates everything. The man comes with the right energy, the right, you know, everything is right. The woman's going to follow, like we said before. Okay. If the woman's the prize, the woman can be a prize all day. She's going to still cheat it on dog, whatever, if the man's not ready for that. So it don't matter. It has to be the man. Okay, you do got some logic in you. I know, I know. Right, I'm some, a genius. You got some, yo, uh, y'all stop playing with me. Something you said was a little bit, uh, <laughs> but you, you got mm-hmm. some logic in you. Mm-hmm. Okay, what about mm-hmm. you, Katie? Who do you think is the prize in a relationship, or not even in a relationship? You know, who, who's just the prize—the man or the, the woman? Um, I've never really thought about it in heterosexual couples. I guess, or yeah, um. I've never thought of that. I guess I would agree with her logic because I've never thought about the question before in that way. Well, good. Just go off. I, I should have never went with you, Erica. I didn't know you were logical, but okay. Uh, <laughs> just go with what you think. No, I guess that makes sense because you want, again, to have all of. I guess I want specific things and the man wants less things than I guess I have, less standards than I guess I have, uh-huh. maybe. I have a lot more like qual. I think women have bigger checklists. Okay, so that means that the guy that you chose for. checked them off. So then he must be. Yeah, and I think okay. they have like I don't think they have like checklists quite as like women do, or they're probably not as large as like yeah. women women's like checklists when they're looking for a relationship. So I guess probably the man, because I think women are quicker to write people off too. Like if you don't check enough boxes at the beginning. Okay, and two logical statements. <laughs> Ladies, let's see. It's your time. Uh, who do you think's the prize in a relationship, the man or the woman? And why? You could choose woman if you want. Don't be going with these two. If you really feel or think that woman is, say with your chest. No, but yeah, just give I'm reason not, why. I'm not going to agree with people because that's what they said. Okay, I like that. But um, Thank you for that. That's very no fugazi. <laughs> no, I really do feel like it's the men, though. Because you could find a good woman like that it's really hard to find and you really could find a, a good woman fast like not saying all of them because you could find a bad woman right fast yeah. too yeah, but it's really that. hard to find a good man like like a a, a man an actual man who yeah. brings the stuff that they need to bring to the table so once you find that he really is the he really is the prize yeah Okay, okay. Yeah, I would agree with good that. Good logical state. Find a good man than, like, good females. <laughs> Lola, don't Man. mess up. It's I mean, Layla. I didn't want to say don't mess up. Layla, I messed up on your name. Don't mess um, up like me. No, um, I actually agree, though, for that. Because, seriously, I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to let you have that one. I do agree. Like, um, clearly you meet all the requirements as a man. Like, you know, like, the way that you are, whatever, for me to submit to you, you you had to be that guy. Like, so I'm gonna agree. I don't know. Okay, makes sense. My eyes I'll go hurt. with uh, you, and then Hustle Man. You can finish it off. So, uh, j- just yeah, just put the mic closer to you. Okay, ask the question again. Uh, who is the prize in a relationship, the man or the woman? The prize. Yeah, the prize. Who's the prize? The prize. Like I said, we're going to agree to disagree. The woman is the prize. Okay. I feel like the woman is the prize. I think you're going to say something logical here, though, for this. So go ahead. Sure. It's, I mean, maybe both, but I feel like the woman, for the simple fact, like you said, we have the key. We have the power to certain things. Mm-hmm. We have that value that men aren't meant to have. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, so if... 
I feel like that's just what it is. I feel like a man, a man is a prize, of course. Like, I feel like it goes both ways. But I feel like a woman, like, has this... I know exactly what you're saying. Value, I know, like you know. Yeah, like, I know what you're saying. You're saying that because um, you, you're saying that that is both because it's. But you said you said it smart. You said at certain times because you're saying that the woman is the prize during the courting process and the beginning stages of it because the man has to put his best for first to attract the woman, approach the woman, and then get her on his program. So she's the prize in that moment of time. Right, but then a Then man after that, the man the is man. the prize because, because then the woman yeah. has to acquiesce to that man, put her best foot forward first, and then submit to that man after she gives up sex for commitment. Exactly. Okay. So I would say this, right? Since woman... Um, actually, no, no. Let me... Let hustle man go. Go ahead, bro. All right. So it's just... It's like this. So I feel like I feel like I feel like in, 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 in general speaking, I I I, I kind of go off what everybody said, you know, a little yeah. bit, a little bit of what everybody said. Yep. But in a relationship, a woman, she's gonna want the man to be everything and do everything. So it's like he has to be the prize at some point. Mm -hmm. And as a as a man trying to talk to a female, obviously she's the prize because he want he wants her. Yeah. So yeah. it just it goes hand in hand. Yep. So um, I uh, here's the logical statement, right? I'll go to the root of it. I I agree with what you said. Everything both of you said was factual because you, you broke up the times. But here's how I. It's always black and white. It's always just one, right? So here's the one. The reason why the man is the prize is because uh, women are born with their value, right? Since women are born with value, that means that the world is her oyster, right? And if you're born with value, then you don't have to do anything to get more value. You just have to preserve your value for the right man, right? So since you're not garnishing more value over time, actually over time, girls' value tend to go down as they age, because w men want, uh, you know, less experience. We want younger women. So the older woman loses value. The younger woman holds value and retains her value with youth and beauty because that's what men are attracted to. So since women are born with value, it's just it's all in void, right? Because you're born with it. Men are born with an empty slate. It's zero percent. We got no value. You get what I'm saying? We got to work on our value to be attracted to you ladies. And what are ladies attracted to? A bunch of plethora of things, like Katie said. We got so many things to check off all these boxes. <laughs> so think about all your boxes you got to check off. We got to be competent. We got to get in the gym, get strong. We got to be ambitious, assertive, dominant to make money. You get what I'm saying? We have to, you are attracted to tattoos, even though it's a red flag. So guess what? I don't got no tats, but that nigga got tats, so you may be attracted to him. So we got to go through the pain of a tattoo to be attracted for. It's a multitude of things that uh, a man has to check off to be attracted to the girl. Um, so, you know, the girl would choose that guy. You know, he, he qualifies for the, uh, for the girl. So um, since he has to build his value, it's, it's he's more, he's the prize because he, he built it. You get what I'm saying? He built it from nothing. So he's the prize. You were born with it. So it's like a trust fund baby, right? Mm -hmm. So who are you going to respect more? The trust fund baby that was born with in a rich family or the person that came from the projects and became a millionaire. You're going to respect the person that came from the projects, became a millionaire besides the person that was born and became a millionaire. Am I right? Yo, you already know this because I agree. With you. All right, cool. Uh, We're going to wrap it up. Last thoughts on the podcast and any questions starting with. I'm going to get it right. It's my, it's my niece's name or my cousin's name. It's one of them names. No, we are just going to start with here and go this way with them. Layla. Yeah. Got it. He helped. Got it, he got helped. it at the end. He Layla. Helped. I don't know. No, nah, he ain't help. Go ahead. Um, uh, last thoughts on the Well, what? How do you have fun? So last thoughts on the podcast. Give me your thoughts on this. You know what we got going on here. And then um, any questions? I like the podcast. Um, I'm pretty open-minded and I like to see how everybody else thinks about different things. But I also stand strong on my opinions, as you see. Like, I yeah. was ready to like... But yeah, I like to... Um, 
it kind of gave me some insight, but at the same time, you know, I s- still feel the same way about certain stuff. Okay. But it was pretty good. What, what take one, one thing, uh, uh, what did you get insight from? Um, all right. There's a couple of things, but I'm going to just choose. <laughs> um, I would say with, um, when you say, you know, how like the females have the keys to sex. Mm-hmm. So I get what you were saying with that. Like I was looking at it like a different way a little bit. Okay. But I get what you were saying with that a little bit. So. That okay. Was things. Yeah. Cool. Will you come back? Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll have you back. You, you know, good. Good to, you know what I mean? Nice to have someone to tussle with over ideas. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, Thalia. Thali. No, Thali. Mm-hmm. Um, last thoughts and, or any questions? Um, dang, I don't know. No questions, but I, I like the podcast too. And it did give me insight on like how men see the world and how the ladies have their, their own different opinions and stuff like that, too. Okay. Um, that's really it. Cool. What about you, Katie? Uh, I thought it was interesting to hear everyone's opinions. I don't have any other, like, questions or anything. All right. Um, would you come back? Yeah. Cool. We'll gladly we'll have you. Longer road trip next time. Yeah, we'll <laughs> gladly have you back. Um, next time you come back, you know, maybe come, you know, earlier. We'll, you know, we'll, because sometimes we do, like, two podcasts in one day. So we'll have more of an event since you got to drive so far. So we'll... I'll, who, whichever one recruited you, I'll have them hit you up when it's much bigger. Um, Erica. I liked it. You liked yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, would you come back? Yeah. All right, cool. Where <laughs> you came from again? Philly. Philly? Mm-hmm. Oh, worry, that ain't too far. What, hour? Hour and, and a half. half. Hour and a half? Yeah. All right, cool. What part of Philly? North. Okay. I'm not trying to say this all the like, like, time. I, I already know I where I live. I just think about it for a second. Like, yeah, yeah, how do I say this without like, saying this? Yeah. 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 No, I know. I know where I, I live. Mean, I know different boroughs in Philly, so you know. I was just wondering. <laughs> um, and then uh, Faith, last thoughts on the podcast? Or any questions? My first podcast is. It was nice to you know Word. express how I feel and. Yeah. Yo, you was coming with some logic. So. I feel like me and her should be on a podcast. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I'll have y'all back. <laughs> because we agree on a lot of mm-hmm. things, yeah. but I feel like we slightly have... You slightly know, like, disagree. But, mm-hmm. but I feel like we can come to an understanding, though. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was dope. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hustle Man, last thoughts on the podcast and anything you got going on, you want to talk in that camera right there. Yeah, um, I like the podcast. Like, I was a fan of the podcast before I came on, and I, I, I watched it. Appreciate that. So, yeah, um, it, it, it was a good experience. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm dropping the album next month, 15th. Next month, 15th. So, uh, June 15th. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Yo, look out for his album, June 15th. All right, ladies and gents, appreciate all of you ladies coming on the podcast. Appreciate you, Hustle Man, um, for flying out here, yo. It was a vibe. And uh, that's No Fugazi. Tune in the next time.